one, you know? Uh, it's a blonde thing. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? It's the Bob and Tom Show. This is Jeopardy for Sluts. Let's meet our contestants. She was the only Caucasian at an Asian massage parlor and still holds the record for happy endings. Please welcome Fonda Sachs, a cocktail waitress and part-time whore. Give it up for Betty Fuchs, a single mom who lives with her three stepdads and can actually suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Give a warm Jeopardy for Sluts welcome to Sharon Peters. And now here's the creator and your host of Jeopardy for Sluts, Hi, I'm Bob Cavoya. <laughs> Fonda, I'll start with you. Oh, I'd like that. Mm -hmm. No, I mean choose a category. Oh, oh, I'll take naughty nursery rhymes for a hundred, please. The answer is he stuck at his thumb and pulled out a... Sharon? What is a 20? <laughs> Correct, Sharon, continue. Mm, naughty nursery rhymes for 500. The answer is Peter Peter Blank Eater. Fonda? What is paid to? You're on the board, Fonda. Continue. <laughs> Naughty nursery rhymes for a thousand, please. <laughs> the answer is, there was an old lady who lived in a... Sharon? Trailer park and kept her stepdaughter tied up all day and burned her with cigarettes. Ooh, sorry, Sharon. Not in the form of a question. Sharon, you lose your turn. Betty, it moves to you. Choose a category. Body punchlines for 100. The answer is helping Jack off a horse. <laughs> Betty? What is, how did Jackie Kennedy break her arm? Correct. Continue. Body punchlines for 500. The answer is TWA coffee, TWA milk, and... Betty? What is TWA tea? Correct. Continue. I'll stick with body punchlines for 1,000. The answer is, boy, would I like a little... Fonda? What are Asian businessmen? No. Betty? Who is Ellen DeGeneres? Sorry. Sharon? What is $20? Incorrect. I mean, what is $20 just like downtown? Ladies, the correct answer is, boy, I sure would like a little... So would I, because mine's as big as a hat. Yes. Big as a hat. Let's pause for a moment and review our scores. Betty, you're on top. Just the way I like it. With minus 400. Fonda is right on Betty's tail with minus 500 breathing down Betty's neck. Just the way I like it. And excuse me while I step behind the podium. And Sharon at negative 1,900. Sharon, you're really going to have to get on the ball to get ahead. Now it's time to play Final Jeopardy vs. Lutz. Final Jeopardy for Sluts is Famous Quotes. The answer is, give me liberty or give me blank. We'll start with Sharon. What is $20? <laughs> Incorrect, Sharon. Fonda? What is dinner? Sorry, Fonda. So sorry. Betty is in the lead, and she answered... What is head? Head is correct. <laughs> that, of course, from the porno classic The Midnight Ride of Paula's Rear, starring that great star, Greg Holbanger. So, Betty, that makes you our new Jeopardy for Sluts champion. Until next time, I'm Bob Gaboyan. <laughs> All contestants on Jeopardy for Sluts receive a private photo shoot courtesy of Bob Gaboyan's Show Your Pink Photo Studios, Mr. Gaboyan's wardrobe courtesy of Dress Left, Dress Low of Beverly Hills. All contestants stay at Bob Gaboyan's house in Studio City. <laughs> this has been Jeopardy for Sluts. I don't I don't think that's a real show. I... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. There's so many to know what's on anything. Uh, yes. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Christy's having a great time. Uh, did someone turn her mic on? What's going on? Go, baby, go. Christy's in a different room, of course. Well, We're socially separated or whatever the hell they call this. I just like it when you turn the mic on, you become a new person, chick. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Likeable? <laughs> Son of a gun. I don't know that part. <laughs>
Look, you know what? <laughs> With the tipping. Go ahead. You know, I'm the only one who's openly complaining about it. it's day nine of no toner in the printer, okay? That's all I'm saying. We've got an orange chair, though. I told you. We don't have any toner in the printer, you idiots. The secret to Western civilization is God. when the toner goes, you buy a new printer. Whose fault is that? It's a conspiracy. I guess. <laughs> what the hell, Josh? <laughs> it's my fault. Yeah, you, you got and a your chair. Orange, they were yeah. preoccupied with your stupid orange chair. That's, that's exactly and, right. You know that we're getting mail about the orange chair. Really? Oh, really? It's amazing. Did you well, see people that? People don't know about the printer. That uh, chick and I can't see our print. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. I'm in the hallway yelling. That's why Chrissy was kicking. You were. It was so. Funny. Why don't we just send it to you in your email? That's a great idea. That's okay. been happening. Oh, no, no, no. It hasn't been. Oh, well, I'd have no, to do that, no, wouldn't I? No, but see, I? Yeah. I, 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 take take it it fine. I take it another step. Why can't we get it together <laughs> to get our printer fixed? <laughs> I we have to make all these workarounds. You know, what's his name? Kessler from the staff spent all day Saturday sure doing it. Sure he did. Install, right? Got him installed, then they were the wrong ones. There's a second printer right there. And there's like four of them in the other what? building. <laughs> That's where God, Godwin's in the other building. This is what's it's, driving it's, me crazy. And, and right, right now, there's apparently a technical issue, so we can't see him or hear him. So maybe we should get him on this printer thing. Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Maybe his pawn shop. <laughs> Wait, maybe out. his pawn shop, there's American Pawn. Wrong. There's has, something wrong with the camera in the building? No, Who no. comes in here at night <laughs> <laughs> and sabotages these things? This is insane. No I have no idea. The good news is this tea is great. Now. Oh, that is good news. Uh, let's see. Oh, where God, were I'm we? So um, is the coffee. The welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. We got the better coffee. Yes. Okay, that's good. It's all good. And I got a problem okay, with I'm the I'm glad compound. there's a few things in this world that are oh, going oh, well. Uh, we'll try to cover some of those. Uh, coming up, we have uh, a, a Tiger King big news, believe it or not. Oh. Um, and uh, some pretty cool stuff happening out there. And uh, something I'm, I'm working on right now, an article about uh, sex, Christy. How about Ooh. that? Mm -hmm. What are you What's reading that? an article about sex? Yeah. Or are you writing an article? Don't you, like, have all your seed in a tube and it's a vacuum tube to <laughs> another person and they <laughs> they inseminate themselves and you have children? I don't actually see you. Was it good you. for you? <laughs> <laughs> Please, that oh, you're my hosting God. my seed. I, 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 I can assure you that my vessel is uh, strictly <laughs> oh God. Flesh, flesh and blood. You refer to your girlfriend as host body, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Not for well. long. I might, I might give her another shot at it. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Uh, now we, uh, who did I just hear is having another baby at age seventy? Some famous seventy. Man. Tony wow. Randall. No. Oh, no. Uh, oh it's got to be a guy. Uh, Richard Gere, I think it is. Oh yeah, he just had one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And Mick Jagger had one at what seventy six or something. So, mm -hmm. You know what? That's how good Richard Gere looks. That's how good looking he is. <laughs> he could, he could overcome the gerbil thing. Yeah. And still, and the, right. Because his still wife in, is 30. You're right. And yeah. by the way, what did he do? I don't know, man, but it's Who did stuck. he... What, Piss how, off. How did that get to yeah. be a thing? Oh, dude. But he's on faith. If it were Steve Buscemi... Oh, my God. Somebody <laughs> said, you know, he puts gerbils up him. What? <laughs> That's all that we would know about. He'd Buscemi's never get he, laid again, he, would he, he mumbling in a cabin in Montana. <laughs> but I gear. be somebody. Yeah. Good looking guy, good Still actor. Making movies. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, where were we? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, coming up, um, a, a new study about uh, th that both men and women have the wrong perception of what the opposite se sex thinks of them. Are we getting that straight? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a whole book about that. Yeah, well, we're going to find out more about it. What, men are from Mars or women okay. are from Mars, men are from Venus, well, whatever I'm the sure hell that, that was? I'm sure that premise is uh, probably. It's the same premise you just yeah. said. <laughs> Look, here's how conversation works <laughs> if someone adds a thought, you can't immediately dismiss them and be awful to them. Okay. Dear Bob and Tom. Holy crap. Um, uh, first of all, subject heading, Josh's new chair. Oh, how about this? Christ. Yeah, this guy's big fan of the show from St. Louis. Well, he must, he, um, he must be his favorite. Uh, he goes uh, he, he goes on at quite great length. Uh, this is from Ray. He goes, um, I was watching the intro piece before you guys got on the air. I got up and noticed Josh's new chair, the orangeinsoles.com official orange chair. I saw it in the wide shot of your studio. It is beautiful. Thank you very much. Then it hit me. That chair looks like a Transformer. Oh. Although I am not, never have been a fan of Transformers. I have three children all grown now and have had to suffer through numerous hours of average, ordinary things transforming into big mechanical heroes that save the earth from dastardly and mean people every day. Right on, brother. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. We at least grew up with great cartoons, not that crap. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
In any, he goes on to say, what a magnificent, lean, mean fighting machine Josh's chair could become. Oh, what's wrong with... Okay. My fantasy did not last long as I continued to watch and Josh sat down to begin the show. What a disappointment. <laughs> that is a horrible letter. Why would you read Listen that? Listen to him giggling. Gosh. Like that. No, just let me finish. <laughs> See, that he's disappointed because the chair can't transform because Josh is in it. Uh, not only goes, is the chair more popular than me right now <laughs> on this stupid show. <laughs> he says, I really love Josh. Well, thank you very much. But... But no, he like just get out of his chair. He, yeah, he I wants to say it turned into a robot. Essentially, he wants Josh to move to a regular chair. We, Josh has this weird orange. What's it called? A gamer's chair? It is a gamer mm -hmm. chair. Yeah, that thing is elaborate. You getting used to it? I love it. Really? Yeah. It's got this wonderful lumbar support. I've got a okay. neck pillow up here. Are you kidding me with this? Okay, it looks very nice. Oh. Now, do you listen to the show through that chair? Doesn't have a built-in headphones or something? It, I could. Yeah, I can. In stereo. Um, I think there would be. Yeah, I think I don't think it's just a mono jack. Who still asks if something's in stereo? <laughs> what year were they born? <laughs> oh, is that in stereo? No, it's mono because we're all going back to that. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> they got bands in both ears. Now, we're getting all kinds of stuff about the studio here. Could you please throw away the cup that's behind Tom's monitor? Is there a cup over there? Oh, yeah. It's been sitting oh, there yeah. it on is. its side. It's browning. <laughs> it's a sad, sad yeah, cup. Yeah. They, they've got a great How point. did it get over there? I wanted to ask about it because you said you and Dean spent four hours moving your monitor or whatever. It's like, nobody picked up the cup. Uh, there's a wire running to it, so I, I think there was a light or something. Oh, do you oh think, that's oh, what that, that is? Was okay. the, yeah, that I was... think it might be the way we received the Remember the, when the light the used to come yeah. on because Dean couldn't get his attention? I think there's a potato in it <laughs> conducting electricity. For that. It's the same, you know, the Bag Brothers who are in charge of our printer. Uh, okay. It's the same. So let's get moving here. The, the, the problem we're having is the printer's out of toner. For day, am I, exa am I exaggerating? It's been I think it's been longer than nine, yeah. nine days. It's been a while. A, I have a suggestion. In the other building, which is right over by that door, there are at least four printers that I know of. Okay, but we don't know how to access them. They're all the them. same make. I say we just go swap one out. Oh. <laughs> Who's going to notice? <laughs> You're right. Oh, there You're you right. go. There's nobody here to notice. Or just jack the toner cartridge. It's a ghost town. Yeah, just steal one of their toner I don't know how to open that machine. Could we get, don't we have people at work here that know this sort of thing? Evidently not. <sighs> okay. I'm telling you, the, the smart move would be just to get the toner, put it in the dumpster. I mean, to get the, the whole printer, put it in the dumpster, and just get a new one. Or I'll just print stuff at home, and then I'll bring it in. If that's what you want me to do, tell me! Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, the, the, in, in the barely legible... Uh, World of sports? Sport, you want to give me a teaser? The uh, Major League Baseball players and owners are still uh, fighting. Uh, we've got a uh, world record that once, for once in the war, I'm behind. Okay. This brings up a big uh, topic as far as people who go to gyms and work out. They're uh, exposed to this every now and then as far as this guy who ran the mile. Oh, I feel like I got to tell. He set a record for it in blue jeans. Okay, there. Oh, boy. I'll tell you that. Yeah, but it's, it's a good, it's a good backstory. It's a good it's, story. It's amazing. And Ron Gronkowski is no longer the uh, champion of uh, WWE, the 24-7 title. Oh, it has been stripped. Yes, okay. last night he got uh, he got uh, attacked. Yeah. So we'll have the... Now that he has an actual job. Uh, the story. Yeah, right. he can't be, you know... I was hoping it would go until he was actually playing. Well, uh, Gronkowski's not going to be ready for the Cardinals this weekend. He's uh, <laughs> on the WWE stage and... Uh, he broke his neck uh, <laughs> falling 10 feet. Uh, yeah, he jumped up the top of the ring. Okay, um, many things are happening. Uh, one of the things that is happening is the summer is arriving which means the grilling season is here got a nice letter uh in the form of a, an email from kastaki economopolis guess yes. what arrived his yes. omaha steaks yep. his omaha steaks got him a him case of last night omaha steaks for father's day did a little cookout last night he's doing another one tonight we'll talk with kastaki coming up sometime soon how'd okay you, how'd, you, how'd you read that email you didn't print it out, though, did you? you no, read I read it, it on my electronic screen that has a okay. used cup in front can't, of it. Can't well, print it out. And that was so nice of you to send Kostaki his, uh, essentially, Father's Day package. That's right. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, uh, we have an entire uh, whole thing that includes the <laughs> includes the word steak, cut, bacon, go. Yes. Give Dad the gift he really wants this year. Perfectly aged, tender steaks. My goodness, Omaha Steaks will deliver the world's best steaks and a huge variety of other favorites directly to your dad's door this year. Right now, Omaha Steaks offering Bob and Tom show listeners and Tom himself access to a variety of amazing packages perfect to send dad 
for Father's Day. Go to omahasteaks.com, enter the code BTS into the search bar. You'll see all the great options available. Many include free shipping and the aforementioned free one-pound package of their perfectly cured, incredibly thick, applewood smoked steak cut bacon. If your mouth's not watering right now, What's you wrong? are still sleeping. Yeah. Omaha Steaks, a variety of Father's Day packages that include... World famous Omaha steaks, of course, naturally aged, 21 days for tenderness and hand carved to perfection. Burgers, franks, sausages, those beef franks we grilled up over the weekend, unbelievable. Perfect for grilling. Premium poultry and pork cut by Omaha steaks butchers, individually sealed for freshness and flavor. Tasty, easy to make side dishes like those potatoes all gratin, plus one step family meals. I cannot recommend the meat lovers lasagna enough. Artisan desserts, much, much more. Make Father's Day simple this year. Send dad the gift he really wants. No ties, no uh, left-handed Phillips head screwdrivers. <laughs> no perpetual motion machine for yeah, his desk. No, clack, no. clack, clack, clack. Perfectly <laughs> aged Omaha steaks. That's what he wants. <laughs> Get free right. shipping and free steak cut bacon with select packages. Visit omahasteaks.com. Type BTS in the search bar for the best Father's Day gifts today. Omaha Steaks. Thank you very much. He doesn't want that brick that says world's best dad. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a steak, okay? All right. To make it clear, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's omahasteaks.com. Coming right back, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. This has been Chick McGee speaking. Hello, Chick McGee speaking. I'm Mark Allison speaking. Have a great Tuesday. It is June 2nd. Got a great show for you coming up this morning on Bob and Tom 24-7. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much for joining us early on a Tuesday, and we'll be back with more of the Bob and Tom Show right after this. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The music industry is planning to turn off the music and hold a day to reflect and implement change in response to the death of George Floyd and the killings of other black people. Several top record labels organized Blackout Tuesday as violent protests erupted around the world sparked by Floyd's death, as well as the killings of Ahmaud Aubrey and Breonna Taylor. Music-based companies Live Nation and TikTok, as well as the Recording Academy, posted to social media that it planned to support and stand with the black community. Meanwhile, the guitar company Gibson's holding a benefit concert to support the famed Apollo Theater in Harlem, featuring Cool and the Gang, Gary Clark Jr., Michael McDonald, and Keb Moe. Dionne Warwick and Dougie Fresh will make special appearances. The live virtual event to kick off Black Music Month called Let's Stay Together, a benefit to support the Apollo, was to be today, but because of Blackout Tuesday, they've moved it to Thursday. And yes, there will be speeches from Barack and Michelle Obama and even Beyonce, but there also will be musical performances. YouTube's virtual commencement ceremony called Dear Class of 2020 will take place this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern and will include performances from BTS, Lizzo, Camila Cabello, among others. Also appearances from Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Bill and Melinda Gates, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, Demi Lovato, and more. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I say all this to introduce the How About You tribute. Oh. How About You, of course, is Chick's new catchphrase that he periodically forgets. Okay, Please here we go. Push the button. How about you? How about you? How about you? Bum, bum, bum. Chick McGee is here to say how about you? Bum, bum, bum. How about you? How about you? How about you? Bum, bum, bum. And highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker, and this is Bob and Tom 24-7. I swear to God it is. That's like all day and most of the night. <laughs> Voices in my head told me that I love you. Voices in my head said you love me too. Yes, they do. You know they're always right. So I'm listening and deny to the voices in my head. 
Yeah, the voices in my head said we'll always be together. <laughs> so I got your name tattooed in flaming red on my forehead. <laughs> They're coming crystal clear, but my doctor, he can't hear the voices in my head. <laughs> in my head said to stop my medication <laughs> Voices are telling me that you want me and you need me and your boyfriend should be dead and gone. <laughs> the voices in my head said to break in your apartment <laughs> and hide under the bed because your love was just a lie. You too must die. The <laughs> soon tonight I'll stalk. Tomorrow I'm insane, so my lawyer says I'll walk. Cause I got voices in my head. Got voices in my head. Got voices in my head. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. I just went on a date with one girl, uh, and she was wearing a skirt and a pair of jeans under the skirt. Like yeah. she was trying to say, hey, Matt, here's two things you're not getting into tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Hut, apparently, Pizza Hut. is going to start delivering cold beer along with their food. No oh, kidding. What? They started t- uh, the testing beer delivery program in Phoenix, Arizona. And it passed with flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone did. <laughs> yeah. So how do you prove that? Uh... Holy heck, look at that. 621 right on the nose at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee's got the weather forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by Car X. Sunny, 88 will be our high. Few clouds overnight down to 67. Partly cloudy chance for an afternoon thunderstorm tomorrow high 87 currently 60 degrees thank you very much mm-hmm. let's uh, try to train alexa here alexa please um leave it on q95 all day long and all night long thank you very much alexa are you listening to me now don't order that canoe like you did yesterday <laughs> just play q95 on iheart radio thank you very much alexa welcome back to the bob and tom show we are worldwide at America Forces Radio, coast to coast on great radio stations like this one. Happy to be here. Let's go around the horn. Uh, oops, I was going to say, there's nothing over there. Uh, I'll look over there instead. Oh, there's Ace. Hey, Ace. Ace is our engineer and, of course, the proprietor of OmahaSteaks.com. Presents the Ace Cosby Joke of the Day brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. It seems a little unwieldy, doesn't it? Uh, Chick McGee's chuckling over there, laughing to himself. Yeah, something I'm having, very I'm having funny is happening. Good, I'm having a pretty good time over here by o- myself. Over there at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. In the meantime, the man in the orange chair, it's the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair brought to you by Josh Arnold. All right. And through the glass there, all by herself in that big room. It's ah, yes. Christy Lee in the Navy Federal Credit Union News Room. Mm-hmm. All by herself. Uh, now, uh, it's not we have so bad. A lot happening. You can reach us, uh, by the way, uh, couple, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. A couple things actually behind the scenes going on. Oh, okay. Well, at our homes, I believe. I don't know if Christy wants to talk about this, but I heard mm-hmm. through the grapevine that didn't you have an incident in the bathroom this morning? Oh, oh yeah. how did you hear about that? I just, uh, I've got my feelers out. I can, uh, I can just sit in the uh, production uh, room and listen to you guys. By talk. Ins- what, did you run out of my doll? What happened? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, if only. No, I dropped my <laughs> necklace down the drain. Oh man! Did you get it out? No. Oh. Well, I got to take this. Well, I don't. Someone's gonna have to take the sink apart. I can't even get the stopper oh, yeah. thing out. I think. This isn't that. That's is not that difficult. You don't yeah, want to. It isn't do it. That you don't want to. Well, do it yourself, you've got to so. get a. Uh, I got to get a pipe wrench. I don't have a pipe no, no, wrench. Just you gotta get, get a I have one. Get a do get you? a get a yeah. plumber. I remember you the time. Got to get a rotor rooter. You'll recall hey, that when, hey, hey, hey. when Josh did his uh, plumbing yeah. experiment. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened. I just remember there was water pouring into the basement. I don't need a plumber. Uh, I have a magic a, man. He'll take care of it. It's just I didn't want to start my day that way. He needs so. a backhoe. Sounds like me. Better get a backhoe. You're gonna want to dig the main water line. Oh yeah. Make sure. I don't want to get rid of all that. Dig that up. Just make sure there's it's not in there first. No. There should go. be, I think, a little screen there at the uh, at the Bobo. Oh, really? Yeah, tip- yeah, well, sometimes there is. Yeah, sometimes there is. I mean, call, it was just like... Call a plumber and save yourself a lot of hassle. It might be a funnier story if you ruin the pipes and it starts leaking. <laughs> Tom, I don't need to call a plumber. I well, have a guy. A, how long? My how guy long? can do anything. You got a pipe on, guy? What? 
Yeah. <laughs> Deke likes to oh, he's lay the, pipe. Oh, yeah. 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 of course. Of course, uh, depending on how long you've used the sink, the hairball at the bottom of the elbow. Oh, yeah, there you got, go. That'll stop the it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think. Would I've got think? a, uh, I've got one of those, uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, those uh, hair drain cleaner things. Oh, yeah. It's like a three foot long like thing, and it gets, when you pull thing. it out, and yeah. it's like, ugh. I have one in my office. Like a snake? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why do you have one in your office? What? Are you cleaning the drains here, too? Yeah, I couldn't stand it any longer, the one drain, so I brought, I got one here. Is anyone else starting to realize <laughs> the problem that we're having with the little incidentals around the place? How are might, we getting hair start, in our drains here? Might start at the head of the snake. Might. Does anybody? <laughs> How do so we you've get... got, what, what, what do you have in your office again? It's uh, like a two or three foot long plastic thing, a little thinner than a pencil. Uh-huh. And it's got... Uh, little flanges on it, and you put it down a drain and twist it and pull it out, yeah. and it pulls all the hair out of the and drain. And you feel the need to have this in your office? Well, I mean, I used it At here a in a radio city. station. It's in my office right now. Do you want me to go get it? No, did I you, don't did want you. you end up yes, pulling a, let a, him go. <laughs> <laughs> did you pull a ton of hair out of a faucet? Yeah, here? that's what yeah. I'm shocked. actually oh. shocked about. Christy, that might work. Just stick the men's room. The men's out. room. Well, the for the men's room faucet here was. I mean, you you the faucet worked fine, but the drain would fill up all the time. I remember that, and it was hair. Yeah. Oh, oh that God, well, you guys are a mess. Who, who has hairy hands? Ace, let me see. <laughs> no, not you. My palms, but see, not uh, uh, <laughs> Okay. That kind of hairy hands. Anybody washing their hair in that thing? No, who not anymore. Do that? Now, we had an interesting news story yesterday about um, a uh, line of lipstick. In which uh, it's designed to match the color of a lady's nipples. Yeah. Areola. Nipples different. Do they call it nipstick? <laughs> uh, no, they nip, don't. Nip lips? So wait a minute. I'm sorry. The, color, the color of the areola is different than that of the nipple? Can be. Okay. Well, I, th well, this, I, th I thought it was the nipple. And our own Jess Hooker evidently participated in this. And, and, this got, and sent them a, uh, got on the app and sent them a picture of her... Um, yeah. You sent pictures of your nipples to this. This had to have been. This seems, seems like such a scam. Yeah. yeah. But then it reminded me that um, Pat Godwin. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's the one. What is it? He just went to my desk. Hair snake. There it is. Yeah, that's my that's my backup. <laughs> Hair snake. There you go. Right there. Tom's our leader. He has this in his office. Uh-huh. That's the uh, that's the other. I bought a couple of them. So this is the I manual hair snake. I was yeah. I was seeing. Wasn't some hair of... snake Dawkins opening band? <laughs> 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 Give it up for hair snake. <laughs> now, see now in the '80s, I could see where guys oh. would have problems with hair. And that's a, you'll that, be that, able to get your necklace out with this. I bet. That's a great little tool. It was like three yeah. bucks, yeah, I and I've got, I got a, I bought more than one, obviously. There's some okay. weirdo inventor. That's well, it's got like about. nubs. On, I, I yeah, can't it's got little flanges on it. It's a little. It's a. It's a like a flexible pencil. A couple feet long, but a little thinner. It's very well, handy. You're either going to be able to get your necklace or shove it on down. Yes, your exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Deeper into the. I would recommend hiring a what professional. What about one plumber. of those um, long uh, magnetic things, like when you drop a screw? Do you think that? No, that's oh. way too complicated. Get a plumber. Well, this is this is going to be. See, once again, a plumber. You're, you're you're overstepping your bounds in the rules of conversation. You're at, you're speaking her with disdain. Yes, right. being dismissive. It's going to be because, much that's because easier. she's going to come in tomorrow and well, I put a magnet down there and they no. all of a sudden they, they had to dig out the main water line. It was my mom's bracelet, and she got it from her mother. It was a necklace, first of all. You're not well. Listening. I can't care. I like I care. <laughs> no, 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 I no. no. Care. Hello, Freud. <laughs> yes. Initially, he said I can't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I will go home. I I bet I go home and it's laying on the counter. I bet it's already taken care oh, of. Oh, that sweet boy of yep. yours. Yes, I bet. Oh, this so. is the boyfriend. Yeah, he oh, can fix handy? anything. Yes. No idea. Okay. Well, could we get him in here to replace the toner yeah. cartridges? <laughs> <laughs> I think this has come full circle, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's the, professional right there. The point is, um, this it interests me this, this whole thing about this lipstick that matches your nipples. And then I found out from Pat Godwin. Are you there, Pat? There he's there, right there. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 No, Hi, Pat. Pat hey. is uh, getting his hair color to match the skid marks in his underwear. Oh, which I oh we're going to re <laughs> we'll revisit that. <laughs> hey, I like the new Bob and Tom cap. Well, thank you. You gave it to me. Uh, we almost, nice. What happened? We almost can't see your face at all, I, and I think that's what you're after. Okay, now it's better. Now you, you, can, look, you yeah. look good. Don't, don't make him any A better. lot's going on back here. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm hearing me in a delay, uh -oh. and I'm listening on uh -oh. Zoom, and I'm playing in real time. <laughs> okay. This is all technical stuff. Can you yes. fix the toner while you're in the... Yeah. Can you, I will be glad to. Can you ramrod that project? That'd be great. <laughs> okay. Now, where were we? I think... Um, oh, I have a, a letter about uh, Morse code. Oh, to to no. We'll have that coming up. I, think I it's thought you to... had an incident. This okay, morning. go ahead and block that, listener. I did. I Chick have has a problem. I have a, a critter in my garage. What? Is this what kind true? of critter? I don't know. I've seen him. It's a tiny little thing. I think it's a chipmunk or a vole. It could be a vole. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to set up? I know that you have you have seven cameras world. at your house. We talk know. about this in, in your in the Simply oh, Safe. Oh, I could put a camera down. Yeah. There. I yeah. have four. You have seven. Yes. Is there a Simply Safe critter cam? Well, here's my here's my <laughs> struggle. Uh, I can send the Australian Shepherd down there. Right. But she's she's a little bit too vicious. I mean, if I just want this thing to run out of the garage. Oh, you I, don't want her to kill it. Because if she sees it, she will catch it and she will kill it in front of yeah, me. Yeah, she's got, she's got ice in her veins. And look at me while she's chewing on its head. I can't have that. <laughs> I can't. All I want is, the, are the garage doors open and it to run out? And I tried it yesterday. The garage was open like all afternoon. And I went down there and went this morning, got in the car. <laughs> it went right across the... <laughs> And it kind because of, it's it living kind of, in your garage. It kind of scares me. Got a little Are home. you keeping dog food or something in your garage? No. Honest, no. Nothing, nothing. edible And in it there. just got cleaned out. Chipmunks love to... I don't know what they're doing. Cause what? havoc. Uh, rat trap, maybe? A little, a little rat cheese. Rat I can tell you off the air how to get rid of that chipmunk. No kidding? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, boy. <laughs> this paint, involves a paintball gun. That's raid the, that's and a the paintball gun. Paintball no. gun's the best way. <laughs> bucket of water, get, a little use, ramp. Use the red balls, by the way. A bucket of water and a little <laughs> ramp. That's did right. You, <laughs> did you hear what are you, a pirate? What are you, a pirate? Yep. Here's what you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm getting hate mail because of my story about the raccoon and the sawzall. I didn't I didn't saw the thing in half. All you need is a little... Uh, peanut butter in a bear trap. That'll get you this thing. There, you have to use peanut butter on the ramp to get them up the ramp. That's oh, okay. <laughs> of course. The sporting thing to do is to suit up. My neighbor taught and me that, get it chick. with a paintball. Oh, really? Oh, God. It's really what? tiny, and he's no, fast. No, he, they fast. are fast. They're fast, man. They climb trees. Did you know that? You just want him I've to paintball up his garage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give him something to do besides watch television. Yes, I, I don't know. Hey, Pollock, did you get the chipmunk? <laughs> <laughs> no, but look at this. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, now. Do we have any uh, sports know. to visit yeah, over here? Yeah, I guess. Hang on. We don't have to. Uh, baseball owners and players appear what far, now? far apart on oh. compensation on a proposal to resume the sport during the pandemic. Players want 114 game regular season and full prorated salaries, leaving each player with approximately 70 percent of what he had been slated to earn. The proposal was made Sunday, five days after. Major League Baseball owners, an 82-game season with an additional pay cut that would have made each player taking in 23 to 47% of his original pay. So There's if you too put much the, math here. Can if you, you put <laughs> these numbers up on, yeah. a, on the whiteboard, right? players want 70% of their salaries. The owners are give, willing to give uh, 40%, 47% at the highest. So you can see... There's with a different number of games. With a different number of okay. games for each uh, each scenario. Okay. Yes. Well, it'd be nice if they could figure it out, wouldn't it? That would be very nice. The Millionaires Club. Come on, fellas. Uh, and former Auburn football coach uh, Pat Dye lived up to his name. He's passed away at the age of eighty. He took oh, over. That's yeah. how. That's how we're going to present that. Wow. What? Jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> See, if he'd have been trapped in my garage, all <laughs> along nightmare be over. Oh. He had turned uh, Auburn into a Southeastern Conference power, Tom. Did you know that? Well, thank you very much. A little respect, please. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I was just being just being silly. Do you think Pat died? Anyway, <laughs> last night, uh, Gronkowski, who was the 24-7 WWE champion, was dethroned by... R-Truth. R-Truth, yes. He was snuck up on while Gronkowski was trying to make a TikTok. So you can see how legitimate this all is. Uh -huh. It just yeah. happened to be, so there happens to be a video right. of it. Right, there, so there happens to be a video of it and uh, all sorts of, uh, Gronkowski appeared on the show. Uh, R-Truth previously said he's planning to get his baby back, he calls the the belt. The, the title, the belt, the, his baby. Mm -hmm. The Bucks tight end claimed it wouldn't be that simple for R-Truth. 16 years of playing football and growing up with four brothers preparing me to fight anytime, any place. Gronk said, 24-7, 7-11, I-95 South, nine years with my brothers. I don't know what he's talking about there with the with the uh, highways. 
Uh, this is a warning, our truth I'll see you coming. I've got eyes in the back of my head, but that did not happen. Uh, the Buccaneers tight end suffered a brutal defeat, it says. He was attacked by R-Truth. He attempted to film a TikTok. R-Truth snuck up on Gronkowski before pinning him to the ground to reclaim his raw title. Okay. The video's pretty funny. I just watched it. Hmm. Okay. Is okay. that right? Now, uh, Christy, we're getting a lot of mail here at the oh God, Radio now Ranch. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they say your sinks have a trap in the pipes right below the drain designed to catch heavier items like rings or necklaces. Mm -hmm. Take the P-trap off and your necklace will be smiling. That's what I'm saying. That's I, what Brian I don't have said. to worry about it because I know my guy will take care of it. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. He's got this. Is the P-trap for P? No. Um, if you're peeing in your you? sink, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> who, raise your hand. Who in this room has urinated in a sink on many occasions? Yeah, yours, yours truly. Yeah, Three I mean, people. Yeah. I, well, Pat's not in the room, but... I would say I pee in my sink more than my toilet. Are you serious? Yes, yes, I am. I I have a follow-up. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? There's a it's, toilet it's, right there. What? The one sink is the perfect height. <laughs> That's the key. It's, and the perfect temperature. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I think everyone yeah. knows the best way to cool off you is just, you some just, nice cool porcelain on the male member. Right. You just flop it up there and whiz in the sink. Yeah, and then I wash my hands and rinse it all down and i'm not wasting uh toilet oh water. my goodness <laughs> it's an eco thing now when you're let, i'd like it's to know an eco thing. when you're when you're in this building uh, no i've never done that i would not do that okay so. that would have you ever one at home is the sink only i use have you now, ever urinated just, in our sink could i finish my inquiry right. here want to ask you the height <laughs> of the sinks here are they suitable for this activity in the event that you decided to do so i've never i've not even considered it i'll have to take a look uh, to see if um, there you go. they might be a little high. I might, you know, you're. you're no, are you a leaner? Do you, you mean get a leaner? Uh, maybe when I'm drunk. When you mean like one one hand on the wall? Right. Yeah, like when you're using a sit down toilet, but you're peeing standing. Do you step back like 18 inches and then just lean in to get the pipes a little? No, mm -mm. I stand like a like a big boy. You do <laughs> no. now, chick. Drops his pants to the floor I like don't a think child. Any need to <laughs> talk about this. Hey, hey let's uh, let's go to Pat for a song. Don't we have a, a song from Pat? How's it going Pat, in there, Pat? How are you doing? Uh, I'm hearing myself on a whole two second delay, so oh. we may we may want to wait. We, we may, may want to wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> we testing one two. Great minds. We may want to wait. Oh, that was <laughs> I didn't wait, say Josh. it twice. <laughs> what, what just happened? You see, we uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, where were we? Uh, a couple more sports stories. Uh, come, we'll have the record coming back with the uh, a world record, but a Brazilian sex hotel. Yes. This there is we in go. sports. <laughs> Uh, has been offering clients an MMA-themed room. How about this? The MMA suite at... What? Don't you want to go ahead and, and tell uh, people where this uh, the uh, hotel is located? Well, I, I think we can all figure this out. It's uh, right there clearly listed at the um, um, yeah. Poesada Garupi in uh, Terracina. P-O-U-S-A-D-A. -A, Pusada. Pusada Groupie? Garupi. Mm -hmm. Garupi. In Terracina. Isn't that Spanish for gangbang? I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be something. Features a round bed with... A posada. I can... I can... I can smell Stop. your... Posada. <laughs> no, you can't. No. Oh, Jesus. Or, oh, wait, wait, do you... Yeah, 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 do yeah. you eat? <laughs> can I... Can I smell your posada? No. no. It they must be your feet. <laughs> I have a round bed with features uh, tall fencing on either side of the bed. It's supposed to be like an MMA cage okay. match thing. Gotcha. The walls are Painted blue on one side, red on the other. Painted black silhouettes of cheering fans. Placed in the corners are a martial arts dummy and a punching bag. A rough, I kind of like the cheering fans thing. <laughs> a rough translation of the room's description online reads, Bring imagination to reality. The MMA suite is a very faithful copy to the octagons with a sensational bed inside the ring. The couple can really imagine themselves in that environment and let their imagination blossom. I'm guessing this is uh, primarily for the guy who's probably going to go one round, if you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, really. Yeah, the only, the only thing he's going to be in there probably is his meat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, okay. No fish hooking, by the way. Isn't that an MMA rule? No rear admiral. Okay. And uh, we'll have more on that and more uh, coming up. Well, I want a uh, world record coming up. Okay, and we'll get Mr. Godwin sorted out. we got a song coming up from Pat. Uh, and some great mail. If you want to get to us, by the way, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. We'd love to hear from you right now.
want to say hi to all of our friends at all those great locally owned Napa stores. Napa stores across the nation. Chances are there's one right near you uh, as America starts getting back up and opening up for business. Napa is there doing what they've always done to help keep local communities moving forward. Keep your truck moving. Keep your car moving. How do you do that? Well, you can stop by a Napa Auto Parts store or Napa Auto Care Center. Let's do the work for you. They'll do the work and they'll do a great job at Napa. Or visit NapaOnline.com and you can get stuff delivered right to your house. You can always count on Napa because they've got something we call Napa Know-How. Once again, America starting back up and uh, Napa is there to help out. Napa Auto Parts Stores, Napa Auto Care Centers, NapaOnline.com. Coming right back with, uh, I think we've got a song coming up from Pat. We have uh, some unusual graduation ceremonies and sex in the news. This and is a white, the White Trash World coming back. Oh, okay. Oh. White Trash World. White trash this world. is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Chick McGee here at the uh, the old compound, and uh, they want me to tell you about BobandTom.com, where you can join and be a Bob and Tom VIP, and all the swell stuff that you get to be a part of because you're a VIP. What kind of stuff? All sorts of things. Like what? There are club meetings, and there are decoder rings, and all s- and secret handshakes. And also go to BobandTomStore.com where you can get Bob and Tom hats and sweatshirts, t-shirts, and shorts, socks. We have socks. I'm not sure about the socks. But uh, yeah, BobandTomStore.com for Bob and Tom stuff and then BobandTom.com to join the VIP. The VIP also get uh, the Off the Air podcast. Come on by and visit, okay? BobandTom.com, BobandTomStore.com. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You just ruined it. (laughs) Coming up on Tuesday's Bob and Tom Show, the Economologues with Kostaki Economopoulos and comedian Bert Kreischer. We know him as The Machine. He'll be uh, here with us via Zoom, socially distancing still here at Bob and Tom 24-7. Kostaki Economopoulos and Bert Kreischer on a Tuesday right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. From the crazycockwine.com sports desk, I'm Chick McGee, and this is your Bob and Tom sports update. Tiger Woods is speaking out for the first time since George Floyd's death, saying his heart goes out to Floyd, his family, and everyone is hurting. The 44-year-old golfer broke his silence with a statement on his Twitter account last night. He said, I've always had the utmost respect for our law enforcement. They train so diligently to understand how, when, and where to use force. This shocking tragedy clearly crossed that line. And Major League Baseball owners and players appear to be far apart on compensation on a proposal to resume the sport in the virus pandemic. Players favor 114-game regular season and full prorated salaries, leaving each player with approximately 70% of what he had been slated to earn. That proposal was made Sunday, five days after Major League Baseball's plan for an 82-game season with additional pay cuts that would leave each player taking in 23 to 47% of his original pay. And former Auburn football coach Pat Dye has passed away at the age of 80. He took over a troubled program in 1981 and turned it into a Southeastern Conference football power. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Cultural observations. What have you got? Well, today's more history. Oh, history? How about that? Oh, All right. Oh, history. Okay. Very, very, very Learn us something. Now, we've heard about the Knights of the Round Table. Oh, sure. There was a the knight. Who was the most meat-loving knight ever? Mm, I don't know. Sirloin. <laughs> <laughs> Sirloin of beef. Yep. But, um, <laughs> Sirloin popped into my head, but I decided to let him say it. Yes. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, fellas. This is Floyd Tucker, the Hope of the Road Tucker. This is Bob and Tom's program 24-7. I'm Fargo. I say Fargo. Did 
Didn't you bring a deck of cards? Of course I did. Barton, I believe it's your deal. Oh, what say a game of poker? You know, that reminds me. I once knew a girl who loved to play cards. At poker, she was so divine. Yeah. She'd reach under the table and give me a wink, and her hand would beat me every time. Ah, her hand would beat him every time. I once knew a girl who loved to play cards, although she would never play fair. She'd deal me a hand and take off her blouse, and I would be left holding a pair. <laughs> Left holding a pair. The night would begin with a bottle of gin, and soon we'd be feeling all right. All right! And she'd shuffle the deck, and hey, what the heck? It was liquor and poker all night. I once knew a girl, we called her Old Poker Face. Oh, she was a card player, was she? Oh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I once knew a girl who loved to play cards. Her prowess you could not dispute. She'd show me some skin, and then she'd always win, cos I'd soon be out of me suit. <laughs> He'd soon be out of his suit. I say, Martin. I once knew a girl who loved to play cards, and one night I was sure on a roll. Believe it or not, I won every pot, but I still ended up in the hole. <laughs> he ended up in the hole. The night would begin with a bottle of gin, and soon we'd be feeling all right. All right. Then she'd shuffle the deck, and hey, what the heck? It was liquor and poker all night. I say, fellas, I remember when pop tarts were invented. And 6.45 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. The Art of Conversation. Topic yes. one, Go topics. Ahead. Oh, you don't like Pop-Tarts? Come on. You want to talk about Pop-Tarts? Brown yeah. sugar cinnamon? Losing your mind yeah. when you were a kid? I'm sure they're, they're delightful. Oh. I'm just not You never had a Pop-Tart? I had a Pop-Tart or two when I was you know, a little kid. I, could we move on? Uh, Christy Lee oh. is at the... Uh, Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk with a quick uh, forecast update. It's sunshine today. Look for a high of 88. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. High 87. We're at 60 degrees currently. Thank you very much. Uh, coming up, a little bit of heat relief. We're going to be uh, helping uh, collect water once again. Uh, we'll be uh, at the Walmart on the south side, County Land Road in Emerson. That's coming up Friday, June 12th. It's become an annual event. And it's very important. Uh, we're getting some help from uh, two men in a truck, uh, gentle dentist, and Angel Animal Hospital. Getting some water. We'll give you the details on how you can be part of that and how you can help out. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see now. How long have we been on today? Today? 46 <laughs> minutes? Why? <laughs> Feel like a day already? Are you tired already? <laughs> kind of worn out. <laughs> uh, okay. That's uh, Chick McGee's worn out right over there at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. There's Josh, that's Christy, I'm Tom, that's Ace Cosby, the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. Remember, Father's Day, your dad does not want a tie. He doesn't want a painted rock that says world's best dad. <laughs> no. He doesn't want one of those gravity things where you pull the ball and it goes... Ch -ch -ch -ch. He doesn't want a... Oh, a Newton's cradle? I love those. What about a three-foot-long uh, shoehorn? He doesn't want one of those. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, yeah. You, where you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to bend over to yeah. put your shoes on? Actually, I, I, I would like one of those. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Where was I? Uh, we have... Uh, we have... Um, uh, Christy back. Lee we have yes, over there. Yes, sir. There we go. Uh, coming up, Kostaki Economopoulos will be... Let's, joining us. Uh, let's take a moment and talk about what's in the antique decanter on the counter. Oh, what is here happening here? Oh, sorry. I was, uh, that's my iced tea. Are I, you seeing this? Oh, that chair's in it the way. It looks like something uh, uh, Woodrow Wilson had in the White House. <laughs> no, it's a very practical glass decanter that is uh, designed to fit in a refrigerator just properly and <laughs> take up less room because of its rectangular shape. It has uh, grippers on oh. the side. Does it come with a top? Is there a seal? Yeah, yeah I, I was. it was in my office. I have to add some water. As you can see, that tea is a little bit um, uh, strong. 
I got a week in it now. We didn't have time. What, what to get flavor that done. tea are we drinking today? We're drinking the tea that Americans drink, which is regular iced tea. I guess. Um, <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I guess it's, flavored tea should be illegal. Black, black, black what was, what is, was, it a, is it an English breakfast? Is it an Yeah, yeah, it's just regular is tea. It a, it's like Lipton tea. It's delicious. Okay. The, what was the restaurant that always they'd have to warn you that their tea Cheesecake is Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Factory. Cheesecake Factory. They'd go, oh, by the way, our tea today is peach. Do you have regular tea? No. Well, they finally stopped because yes, I bitched they did. enough. Actually, I. Yeah, I'm uh, sure you can, did that. Can we have real tea? please and then you can do the flavored stuff i uh i I'm, the angle i'm seeing the decanter i'm also seeing uh josh's feather quilled pen that's so right it, it really does look like something <laughs> from the old west at an outpost uh, before you attack the indian right. board yeah, I, gonna... I apologize for the distraction yeah i didn't mean to do that um i'll, I'll be taking care of that during the next it's break. a wacky morning isn't it in the meantime we're, we're getting uh, mr godwin sorted out because we have an interesting news story and we've got a little song for it okay we have uh, some more marijuana news uh, that I think you'll find interesting. And um, coming up, uh, we have a... S do you like to do the scary stuff, like the bungee jumping? You ever, ever done any of that, Josh? I have bungee jumped, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a couple. I'm trying to think where I've seen one of these. Oh, I, there's one at Kings Island, for example, these giant swings. I did that, too. Oh, yeah. Where they have a huge arch, like the St. Louis arch, and mm -hmm. then there's a, a swing on it, and they, right. they pull you back and let you go. Yeah, I've done yeah. that also. They've built one. They're building one. It's almost done. They're testing it right now in China. The catch is it's at the top of a giant cliff. Wow. So when you swing out, you swing over this giant chasm in the earth. Man, oh, man. No, you don't. I don't. No. <laughs> Maybe he does. I do not. No, uh, no thank you. I have no, done, I have done this right. once it, just on the on the regular flat ground and it was terrifying it was it was one of the scariest things i've ever done they haul you up and they just drop oh, you and you God. go flying well, yeah. this one you f can you imagine you fly out over this giant <laughs> hole in the earth no but tom suffers from this where he gets mad when something like that happens so like, i remember plainly you getting oh uh, something like ah oh this is great yeah, super. <laughs> yeah. got, immediately got upset about it. we'll be uh, hearing about that coming up um, and we'll get some of the photographs of it on our um, various social media in the meantime we return to the sports page with Chick McGee. A man has set the world record for running the fastest mile while wearing a pair of blue jeans. And we'll have that story coming up later. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. Then that's sports. <laughs> oh, boy. Wherever you go, whatever you do. Always. <laughs> Sorry. Be a good sport. <laughs> you can't rip it up. You have to read it later. I was... I ripped up another story. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be set for whenever later is. But... Christy, what's going well, on? Well, no, actually, there? we have a request here, so oh, I thought we'd squeeze okay. it in. Right. This is actually the perfect time. We're getting a couple of adjustments made in the uh, regular pro program segment of the show. This is um, a little visit with, uh, well, it, it, it's Mr. Mr. Obvious. Heidi Ho, welcome once again to the Mr. Obvious show. I'm, of course, your affable host, Mr. Obvious. Shall we... Take a call. Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Um, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Uh, it is, caller, but I'm having kind of a uh, hard time hearing you. Oh, man, this is so great talking to you, Mr. Obvious. I'm a long-time listener and a first-time caller. Well, I, I'm... I'm certainly glad you called. Um, not to belabor the point, caller, but it is difficult to hear you. Can you uh, speak up? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Obvious. I was saying I'm a long-time listener and a first-time caller. Uh huh. You might get over here across the street where it might be safer. Get across the street. What? What? <laughs> what's going yeah, on, hey, caller? Okay, I, I, I can speak up a little bit. Can you can you hear me now? Yeah, that that is. Uh, I can indeed. That's much better. Now, what's going okay. on, caller? Oh man, Mr. Obvious, I had, I had to cross the street to get away from the bank. The bank. Okay. Now, what's what's wrong with the bank, caller? Well, well Mr. Obvious, I think it's being robbed. Robbed. Oh, yeah. oh my land! Well, did did you call nine one one caller? My goodness! Well, uh, well, no, no, I I wasn't sure if uh, if I should call the police or if I should confront the robbers. No, no, no don't C confront them. Of course, you shouldn't well, confront them. They could be armed, caller. Armed? You think so, Mister? Well, uh, do I think they could be armed? Of course, they could. That's what robbers do. They carry around guns or knives or bombs and they rob people. Yikes! I'm sure glad I didn't confront him then. Yeah, yeah. Is the robber still in there? Uh, robbers, Mr. Obvious. There's more than one. There's a whole oh bunch of them. Oh, my goodness, more than one. Well, how many, caller? Oh, gosh, I, I, I saw at least four or five of them. Okay, well, would you be able to identify them to the police? Mm, 
I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Obvious. They're all wearing masks. Masks? You mean like uh, like pantyhose masks? That's no, funny. no, I, I'm not being funny, caller. Robbers often wear pantyhose over their heads to disguise their features. Huh, I'll be darned. Yeah. No, no, these fellas weren't wearing pantyhose. Um, they, they were wearing those masks like you might see a doctor wear. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and the robbers, most of them were also wearing gloves. I, I assume <sighs> keep from leaving fingerprints everywhere. So. Masks and gloves, collars? That... <laughs> yep, yep. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 another thing. This, this might help. They, they all seem like they were spaced about six feet apart from each other. Kind of a gang. Oh, my land, collar. Those people are not robbing the bank. And not robbing the pet. How do you know? Uh, caller, they're protecting themselves from the coronavirus by covering their noses and mouths and wearing gloves. Hmm, you, you don't say. And as a matter of fact, you should be doing the same, caller. Me? I, I'm not going to be going in the bank, Mr. Obvious. No, no, it's not just the bank where you need the protection. You should practice being safe at the post office, the grocery store, wherever you might come in contact with people. You should be wearing a mask and gloves. <sighs> Mask and gloves. Uh huh. Huh. Well, I never made a connection. <sighs> Don't you watch the news, caller? How could you not know? Oh, gosh, no, I haven't seen the news for a while, Mr. O. I've been binge watching that Tiger King show <laughs> ever since my boss told me not to come into work. Oh, well, like a lot of people, you must be working from home. Uh, no, he fired me. Uh, it was for something called incompetence, uh-huh. which, which I don't I don't get. I hardly ever took bathroom breaks or anything. Okay, caller, it pains me, but we're going to have to go right now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Mr. Yes, yes, caller. Uh, you're a lifesaver. Well, it sounds like you took my advice and put on your mask. I'm proud of you, caller, for taking heed during these unusual and trying times. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mr. Charles. I, I didn't have a mask with me, but uh, luckily this fellow in uh, front of me at the store uh, sneezed into his handkerchief and dropped it on the ground. So, hey, nice, nice old mask. Uh huh. Yeah, goodbye, caller. <laughs> uh, until next time, this is Mr. Obvious saying so long. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh, what a nice pleasure. We got the electronics, I think, all fixed here. We do? I think I so. Did we, did we fix it? Yes. Can you hear us okay? Yeah. what I miss? what I miss? Are Nothing. We, are, Nothing. Are we coming to you twice? Are we coming to no, you twice? Are, we, are you oh, sure? Good. Are you sure? It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we come back, uh, this will still be the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, guy, it's Kid Tarmac. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Kid Tarmac. Hey, Ken Tarmac. For every dollar spent at BobandTomStore.com for the foreseeable future goes directly to Feeding America. Buy now and buy off and head on over and check out our hats, our T-shirts, our sweatshirts, all the great stuff we have at the BobandTomStore.com. And again, every dollar goes straight to Feeding America. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump has threatened to deploy the United States military unless states quickly halt the violent protests that have convulsed cities from coast to coast. Trump said Monday he was recommending governors deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers to dominate the streets. The president says if governors fail to take action, he will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. 
His statements came as the U.S. braced for another round of violence at a time when the country's already buckling because of the coronavirus outbreak and the depression-level unemployment it has caused. The brother of George Floyd has appealed for peace in the aftermath of riots and arson fires following the death of his brother in Minneapolis. Terrence Floyd appeared at the intersection in South Minneapolis where his brother died after a white police officer pinned his neck with his knee for several minutes a week ago. Wearing a face mask with the image of his brother's face on it, Terrence Floyd spent several minutes of silence at the flowers and other memorials that have sprung up. Quote, I understand you're upset, Terrence said to the crowd through a bullhorn. But he said civil unrest and destruction is not, quote, going to bring my brother back at all. And the artist Christo may be gone, but some of his upcoming public projects will continue to be on display. His website, which announced his death over the weekend, said Christo's next project, the Arc de Triomphe Wrapped, will appear in September in Paris as planned. Also, an exhibition about Christo and Jean-Claude's work is to run from July through October at the Centre Georges Pompidou. And that is your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Bob and Tom 24-7. They say 3% of the people use 5 to 6% of their brain. <laughs> 97% use just 3% and the rest goes down the drain. I will never know which one I am, but I'll bet you my last dime. 99% think we're 3%, 100% of the time. <laughs> 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 they say 72% of all statistics are made up right there on the spot. 84.4% <laughs> of people believe them, whether they're accurate statistics or not. Now, I will never know what you believe, but I do know there's no doubt I need another double shot of something. 90 proof, this is too much to think about. It's too much to think about. Too much to figure out. Stuck between hope and doubt with too much to think about. They say 92% of everything you learned in high school was bull crap that you will never need. 82% of everything you got, you bought just to satisfy your greed. Because 94% of the entire population links possessions to success. Even though 80% of the wealthiest 1% of the population drinks to an alarming extent. It's too much to think about. Too much to figure out. Stuck between hope and doubt, I've got too much to think about. 82% of all statisticians truly hate their freaking jobs. <laughs> the average bank robber lives within, say, about 20 miles of the bank he robs. There's this little bank not far from here I've had my eyes on now for a while. <laughs> Lately, all I can think about is a going out in style. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much to think about. Too much to figure out Stuck between hope and doubt It's too much to think about Hi man, this is Donnie Biker You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7 A tradition unlike any other Oh, 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 oh gosh <laughs> The Masturbators This weekend on CBS <laughs> <laughs> you know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. We got inspired last night by the halftime show watching Tom Petty's. Oh, all right. And so I figured we could do a lot better probably going back. He respected that I, I used to be known as Donnie Cougars. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's Donnie Cougars and the Pork Breakers. Uh -huh. Well, I won't come back down. Cause I hate this time <laughs> Ain't got airbrush t-shirts like Gatlinburg does So I won't come back down I told you it was good with us in the studio, comedian uh, Kostaki Economopoulos. Now, we talked a little bit about your love life. What's happening with it again? You're... Oh, I've got a girlfriend. She's great. Mm -hmm. and we're knocking around and having a good time. And So you have no children. Though. I have no children. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the first sign of me getting old, all right? Here's the first sign of me as an old guy. I give my girlfriend a really good back massage, like 40 minutes. Then it's my turn. I lay down. She just barely starts to rub my back. This is true. And she reaches down and, uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. says, are you sure you want me to rub your back? And I said, Yes. <laughs> like, what? 
<laughs> 703 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> I, uh... Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Oh. And let's just uh, get back to the action, shall we? Right We've back got, in um, it, baby. You know, Christy Lee right over there. I can see her. Hi. She's in the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom all by herself. Yes, sir. Chick McGee's across the way. You'll find him at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Yes, it's a real thing. Tell your liquor store, why aren't you carrying crazy cock wine? We want it in the can. Um, he's not on the can. He's on the chair. He is Josh Arnold. The orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair is what he's occupying right now. That's right. Uh, now we go to our left here and we see Ace Cosby, engineer and proprietor of the Ace Cosby, I'm sorry, the omahasteaks.com presents the Ace Cosby joke of the day brought to you by Omaha Steaks. You know that, that, uh, Promo line is longer than the joke of the day. Yes, it is. Oh, i got to work on that. <laughs> um, uh, this is Tom speaking. There's Pat Godwin. I can see him. He's in a different building right across the way, though. And we got everything electronically hooked up. Apparently, there was some massive electronic issue here yesterday. Oh, yeah. really? They were switching some switches, and I don't know. Aha. I'm not sure what happened. I think... I just... Switches get stitches from now on, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh. I think, I, I think that uh, there was some kind of... Uh, Radio thing going on. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, radio. Thing. Well, good. I well, it's a radio so. station. Yeah. I had hoped really, there was a radio uh, thing. Really cleared it up yeah. for us. I think, nice. I think one of the stations in this building is going all disco. Okay. Oh. I think it'll be that timely. Yeah. Yeah. Pendulum has swung back. Yes, huh? I, I was at that Turn meeting. Turn the beat around. Yeah, I mean, this will work. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Where were we? Um, oh, we were doing sports. I'm sorry. And we had a story. What was it? There's an MMA hotel room where they've got cheering people and a. Uh, you rent this hotel. What are those sex things called? Those sex hotels, Christy? A sex hotel? No, it's the oh, mo- fantasy motel suites. There you go. The fantasy, fantasy hotels. Fantasy suites, yeah. Where they have, uh, you, you, you can get like a Star Trek room. Do they still have those? I don't I'm know. I'm sure somewhere. Well, I yeah. mean, yeah, they're... Everything's kind of crazy right now. Well, yeah, but I, I, I think when right, things get back I mean... to whatever normality would be... Normalcy. Um, <laughs> well, someone uses the word normalcy, they're illiterate. Uh, normality, uh, I would say, th- but they have them where, you know, you, yeah. like one of them is the Starship Enterprise and right. you can get a Wild West one. Caveman. This one's MMA themed and they've got fans on the walls and the beds surrounded with a big fence. Fence? You mean a... Oh, a ring? Ring. <laughs> Right, be a but fence. The, it's like a cage be... match, isn't it? Yeah, the story did use the word fence. Oh, tall, is tall, it a... tall fencing on either side yeah. of the bed. Yeah, it does say that. I'll be darned. And of course, but the... what are you throwing at her? Ah, uh, the rear naked choke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that hold. <laughs> well, I mean, it, this is a obviously... Rough, a rough translation of the room's description online reads, bring imagination to reality. The MMA suite is very faithful copy to the octagons with a sensational bed inside the ring. Okay. Well, the sex was great. I lost consciousness five minutes into it. And oh, yes. I woke up with my... Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, in other sports, yeah, thank one you. more sports. Oh. Uh, a man has set the world record for? <clears throat> for running the fastest mile while wearing blue jeans. I got you, chick. Johnny Gregorek <laughs> donned Levi 501s. Oh, they originally did. Oh, yeah, why yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, button, button fly. Are they button yeah. fly? Yeah. yeah. To run the mile, and he ran a mile. 406 25. Holy in jeans. No, well, they I just had to have say. been old jeans. They were really worn, right? <laughs> Beating the previous Still. record of 411. Still, good for him. And he's doing it in honor of his brother who had some mental health, which is good for him. Yeah. It's a cool story. And usually, if someone's running fast in blue jeans, something's gone wrong. <laughs> well, yes. I think we've all been, well, back when we went to health clubs, uh, the, the guys, you know, benching 385 wearing blue jeans and, yep. and cowboy uh, boots. I've seen it. I I've haven't. seen it happen. Really? Yes, but I'm more white trash than you are. Oh Did you ever gosh. see Blue Jean Guy at our gym, Christy? No. Turned out he was living there. They had to kick yeah, him out. Blue Jean Guy was living at the gym? Oh, yes. my gosh. I'm not joking. No, I didn't The guy didn't was living see him. at the gym. I, I'd, every time I'd go, there, this guy's here all the time, but why is he wearing blue jeans? Oh. Hmm. He, uh, he'd... Uh, I had a nice shower and sit in the sauna all day in his blue jeans. Is that what it sounds like? A, sounds like a pretty good game. Yeah. yeah. One, one, one bad. Clean your clothes and sit in the sauna all at once. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the fastest mile ever run in blue jeans. 406, that's quite quite good. I didn't know there was a You know what they call that, by the way? Oh, yeah, it's called the... Um, <laughs> 
What? It's called the Jordash. <laughs> the Jordash. <laughs> Man, boy, I, I like that a lot. I like it. Do you? Yeah, do you? I do. Yeah. I like to discuss oh, why you Jordash like that. Jeans. <laughs> when you get when you get I a moment. I would do with yeah. a professional. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you want to hear my um, semi nope. semi unpleasant Jordash jean story? Yeah. Um, we could never afford them when I was a kid. We were. Uh, I've, I never. Of course, never had it. Of course, you didn't. no. There. Remember ridiculous. the? Why do you call him Jordash? Because Jordash sticks out. Yeah. <laughs> remember um, that? We yeah. were. We were at the radio station. We were playing a <laughs> softball match against the um, the so called honor camp. Oh my God! What's which the is, honor camp? It's sort of the last level of women's p- prison. Oh God! No, no. This is the one with the men's prison. You weren't oh. there. This was just me and Bob. And, yeah, the men's prison. Um, like this is the, memory. <laughs> the the Pelston Honor Camp <laughs> near the Pelston Airport in oh, northern the, Michigan. Uh-huh. This is in Michigan, a fine under a beautiful... Great, a great honor airport. Camp, you right? can land the biggest planes gorgeous, in the world there. Gorgeous. So. I've been there. Um, the... Uh, the point of the story is uh, there's the some of the guys that were maybe in Jackson or wherever they they you know done their time and they were about to be released into society but not but not all their time yeah this is sort of the end of the time <laughs> right right so, done some of their time so we were play, we were playing softball with them and you know, some good guys oh yeah and um, we, we we would uh, chat with them et cetera et cetera during the game and um, our engineer I won't give his full name uh, his name was uh, well I better, better not give his name at all yes we'll your engineer. Him. We'll call him uh, A B. Okay. Okay. He um, was uh, quite the narcissist, and he had his—he always had his <laughs> blow dryer at the station, and had that oh my God. had that kind of John Travolta look from 1979 <laughs> yes. that was still going. Oh my God. <laughs> And then he always had a real tight Jordash jeans on, uh-huh. and he would wear those kind of crop top shirts. <laughs> so there we are playing the, the guys in prison, and I'm talking to my guy, and he goes, well, I can't say exactly what he said, but he <laughs> oh, said good. something to the effect of, uh, <laughs> you wear jeans like that where I'm from, and you get your uh, ass, uh, <laughs> well, you know what. You Either can, kicked okay. or... No, it wasn't kicked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was closer to kissing, really. Is that... Is that the worst story you've ever heard? <laughs> but whenever I hear, whenever like I would a hear, third of the worst story I've ever. Whenever heard. Whenever I would hear George ass jeans, I was thinking that about that guy. Because that really is a bad form. If you're going to a, a yeah, that's not a good look for prison. A prison. You don't want to yeah show off your buttocks and yeah, Jordan, you don't want to put Jordan it out jeans. there. So yeah, the point is, this sure. guy, I'm so, this guy sets a new record good for Lord. chafed balls, chafed balls in uh, <laughs> by running a mile in, in Levi five oh ones. Good for him. Um, he's, uh, but the best part of the story is what he was doing this in honor of his brother who had had some mental health issues and he's trained. He raised, he raised a ton of money, like 35,000 bucks for, him. for the national Alliance on mental illness. So good for you, sir. Yeah. And he had his late brother's nickname stitched on the left, uh, uh, uh shoe tongue. And his, uh, his nickname was Patty P A D D Y like Patty G. Wow. wow. Like Patty, Patty wagon. wagon. Patty okay, G. Yeah. There you go. So good for you, buddy. Um, and uh, now you have a, a tribute to this? I do. Here we go. Okay. Denim pants. Put on my 501s and took a chance. I ran a mile the quickest ever seen. Oh, look at me. The fastest in blue jeans, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But denim chiefs. You'll get a case of swamp, but it's not safe. <laughs> Thighs rub together, I think my groin's on fire. <laughs> I'm no liar, I'm the fastest in blue jeans, babe. <laughs> babe. Running in jeans. <laughs> Running in jeans makes a sound as I burst at the seams. <laughs> <laughs> Got stuck in my fly, I'll give buttons a try. Well, I don't mean to gush. You try breaking this record, David Rush. <laughs> Grow a pair and try to outrun me. And you'll see I'm the fastest in blue jeans, Dave. <laughs> oh, you threw out the challenge. Oh, out that's there, nice. Dave. Very nice. Patty G <laughs> challenging Ooh, David thanks. Rush, world record holder, to the blue jean mile record. Are you a fan of the button fly? No. I like, I like the button fly. Don't have that yeah. kind of time. No, I don't care for it. You don't have enough time <laughs> no. to button your jeans. No, life's too short. You're that busy. Bravo to the guy that invented the zipper. Good Lord. Or the yeah. gal, whoever it was. Uh, but Mr. Too busy. Uh, the, um, don't have time to button jeans. They're kind of yeah. sexy. That slow button thing. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I can see that. but I, <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you talking about on you or on someone else? Christy Either Tom, way. A Christy. slow reveal yeah. is kind of fun. Yeah. But um, no, I prefer the zipper. <laughs> 
I mean, I just talk about <laughs> just daily activities. If you during this next break, if you have to go to the toilet, you want to want to go in there and have to unbutton eight buttons. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? You're not a real person. You know that. You're like, uh, I'm... Check, do you own buttonfly jeans? I've got a couple pairs. You wear them every now and then? That's a lie. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a total lie. Uh, Ace, do you have any buttonfly jeans? No. Of course you don't. More normal guy. <laughs> Now I say we have we challenge this guy we challenge this guy I, I think I think David Rush should be challenged for the the running a mile Can record. Can we except, keep David Rush <laughs> off the air? <laughs> except I think Mr. Rush should have to do it in bell bottoms. <laughs> Elephant bells. Yeah, go. Thwap, 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 See if we can run a mile with until only taking one breath. How about that? <laughs> I think that's possible. I know. Yeah, he probably. Let's see if he can uh, run a mile off of a half mile pier. <laughs> <laughs> there, I there is a record. I will not stand record. for you being unkind to our friend Running David Rush. Not our Only friend. one guy holds that record. <laughs> okay. Wow. He's held that for a while. Yes, he has okay. actually. <laughs> so well, good for this guy. Can that, that's that's David tough Rush. running running a mile that quickly. Now we have a lot to get to here coming. Today's up. National Rocky Road Day. I'm on the fence. What are you, you guys with Rocky Road? Oh, I bet Tom hates Rocky Road ice cream. I wouldn't, I've never tried it. Don't intend to. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> don't like the name. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. I'll tell you what's in yeah, it. What's in it? Uh, almonds or pecans, yeah, mini marshmallows, yep. chunks of semi-sweet no. chocolate. No. Yeah. no. And chocolate ice cream. It's a pretty yeah, good can, ice cream, I think. It's a good yeah. ice cream. Yeah. yeah. But you just base it on the name. <laughs> I just yeah, never get I, it. I don't like the... the all those, I just like you know the standards vanilla chocolate, little <laughs> peanut course, butter in yes, there. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. we know. Okay. Nothing fancy for yeah, you. You right. are you are out of. You don't like to button jeans. <laughs> I know. We know you don't like Rocky Road ice cream. I don't like to ride the button jeans. Same reason I don't ride a horse to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've got Woodrow Wilson's decan iced tea decanter over there. Iced tea is a classic gentleman's drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fresh black, fresh black tea, no, uh, no flavoring. Make it's it not. Stop. Well, we have Rocky Road tea. Uh, we make it with gerbil piss and bubble gum. No, that sounds delicious. Grow up, be a man, be an American. Drink normal tea. Oh, uh, this leads me to uh, what? We, we, we get love letters at, for some of the things we talk about on the air, including the Raycon, the Raycon earbuds. People have been buying them, and they're uh, saying, "Hey, these are really great." You guys aren't kidding. You got to have a pair of wireless earbuds in today's culture. We got a story coming up about three to five year olds and their use of uh, cell phones. Mm -hmm. And if you have a three to five year old, and I have one, mm -hmm. uh, believe me, they gravitate toward those cell phones. Also, uh, in this contemporary culture of ours, having a great pair of ear earbuds is now a necessity. The Raycons, R A Y C O N, these are the best, and they're half the price of those expensive white ones that keep falling out of your ears. The Everyday E25 earbuds, check them out. Six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing. They've got a variety of uh, rubber gizmo thingies you can stick on them to make sure they fit your ears just perfectly. Did we ever get the proper name for those? Just tips? I don't know. Yeah, I think tips Okay, works. we'll go with that. Uh, and they're famous for their base. And as we know, uh, it's all, it's about, all about that base. Raycon, wireless earbuds, they're the best. Uh, who's uh, on base for these? Oh, I know. Chip S McGee. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop. Yours right. truly. So find out what the hype is all about at half the cost of those other guys' earbuds. And plus, we'll take 15% off if you tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Here's how you do it. There's a bunch of uh, three-letter words here. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Except for the word slash, those are all three letters. Byraycon.com slash Tom. That's right, the dot is three letters. Uh, Byraycon.com slash Tom, 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Talk about Raycons and how great they are. Not that the thing has three letters, except what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is my uh, this is my training in crossword puzzles. <laughs> uh, Byraycon.com slash Tom. Oh. You will like it. You will end up writing us a love letter. Yes. When we come back, a little bit of Donnie Baker and some music from Pat Godwin. Glad to have you back, Pat. This Thanks. is the Bob and Tom Show. All Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, don't forget, Bob and Tom tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Just head on over to Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Subscribe today. It's free. Go do it now. No cost at all. And you can be watching Bob and Tom tonight. Over 20 minutes of the best video highlights of today's Bob and Tom show 
tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Search Bob and Tom YouTube or go to BobandTom.com. It's Bob and Tom tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Kostaki Economopolis and Bert Kreischer on a Tuesday. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The music industry is planning to turn off the music and hold a day to reflect and implement change in response to the death of George Floyd and the killings of other black people. Several top record labels organized Blackout Tuesday as violent protests erupted around the world sparked by Floyd's death, as well as the killings of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor. Music-based companies Live Nation and TikTok, as well as the Recording Academy, posted to social media that it planned to support and stand with the black community. Meanwhile, the guitar company Gibson's holding a benefit concert to support the famed Apollo Theater in Harlem, featuring Cool and the Gang, Gary Clark Jr., Michael McDonald, and Keb Moe. Dionne Warwick and Dougie Fresh will make special appearances. The live virtual event to kick off Black Music Month called Let's Stay Together, a benefit to support the Apollo, was to be today, but because of Blackout Tuesday, they've moved it to Thursday. And yes, there will be speeches from Barack and Michelle Obama and even Beyonce, but there also will be musical performances. YouTube's virtual commencement ceremony called Dear Class of 2020 will take place this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern and will include performances from BTS, Lizzo, Camila Cabello, among others. Also appearances from Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Bill and Melinda Gates, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, Demi Lovato, and more. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Bob and Tom 24-7. My work day's done. Go grab a shower. Let's hit the pub. It's happy hour. If we get bombed, who gives a damn? I'm not as drunk as you think I am. Those chicks right there don't look too good. But three more beers, I guess I would. It's either them or my right hand. I'm not as think as you drunk I am. So bye. Are you girls waiting on your friends? What did you say? You're lesbians. Bartender cancel those two drinks. I'm not as in as you drunk, I think. This beer is moving like a train. I think my lizard needs a drain. But first I'll have a double shot I'm drunk you think as you am is not so buy another round we'll sit right here and drink them down get everyone another beer you'll have to kick us out of here Bathroom's nice as it can be. It's got four walls. I puked on three. Oops, here comes more. I'll use the sink. I'm not as drunk as you am, I dink. I put that bouncer right in his place. I smacked his elbow with my face. He's lucky that. It's closing time. Drunk am is not as you think you am. So bye. 
722 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> That's the, the, the voice of the weary. What I miss at the break? Jim? Oh, you should hear him <laughs> running his mouth when we're off the air. Movie talk. He hates all the movies we love. Uh-huh. Yeah, hates him, yeah. hates him, hates him. They're too long. They're too bloated. They're, yeah. they're You know, I don't have that kind of time. Don't have this kind of... <laughs> okay. We, movie. Let's pick it up. We get it. He's, he's, he's got that weird laugh. Let's do this for Gone 12 Gone with minutes. the wind could have been told in 32 minutes. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Let me throw this in here real quick. Sunshine 88. Right now we have sunny skies 64 degrees. Sunshine 88 sounds like a band. Shut up. Oh, Welcome shut back up, to the Bob up, and Tom up. Show. I have to I have to do this. It's in your contract. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> that I, well, yes, sir. <laughs> your contract, you, you're going to need some scotch tape. But, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here's yeah, the contract. The, the shredder still works. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, now welcome back to the place where the toner doesn't work. Um, Dave, week two. Week two of no toner. I'm telling you, there's a machine just like that in the other building. Let's just go swap. How are they going to know? I don't think there is. What? Not that make. Here in the land that time forgot and our exper- our, 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 electric, our electrical, uh, yeah, I don't right. think any of this is compatible with. Okay, all right. Well, we'll get some toner, okay? We'll figure it out. Calm down. Where were we? Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Let's just start right there. There's Ace, our engineer, the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. And I'm going to remind you that your dad does not want a tie. He does not want a rock that says world's best dad. He wants (laughs) steaks. Okay. There are some exceptions to this. But you can't get something for someone who's dead. So, let's just move forward, oh remembering OmahaSteaks.com. What do I do? How do I... I don't know. <laughs> what in the hell? You know what I'm thinking? Uh, I'm wondering God if knows. that track phone hotline is going to ring today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hi, Donnie. Come on in. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, come on. on Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie oh, Baker. Hey, Donnie. Sorry. We have a new ringtone. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sounds like Home Alone 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donnie, Donnie, sorry. Jo- Josh sorry, and Donnie. I are in the car after the show. We're coming down to visit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be about as awkward as the run-in I had yesterday. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? I made eye contact with Angel Skinner's at the prepay pump seven. Oh, man. Yeah, I ain't seen her in years. She's wearing a stupid mask, looking like Dr. Fauci with a set of tired B caps. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> she, she said, Where's your mask? And gave me the finger because I wasn't wearing a mask. I said, Angel, given your history, I'm guessing yours ain't as much a mask as it is a doggy door. Hell, everybody's <laughs> free to come in. Oh, man. Uh, Christy, I said it right to her face over a pallet of cypress mulch. I'm sure. I swear to God, huh. she stroked a nerve. So I heard that story you did about that company. It'll blast your ashes up to the moon for, what, 20 grand when you're dead? Uh, well, they'll, well, they'll send was... your ashes up in space. There's a whole bunch of different companies that do it, and I don't it was, know. It wasn't 20 grand, but it well, was you know, like, No, one of them was 25 grand. I thought it was 5,500 to 20, 12,500. I don't argue grand. about it, but... Well, it don't matter. The fact remains, if that ain't the biggest dick move to your <laughs> kids and grandbabies, I could lift you all this money and get caught up in your credit cards and get your boat out of impound, but instead, I'm going to use it to have my is blown up to the moon. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess you should have done more to get me a tie for the last 15 Father's Days. Good I swear to God. <laughs> but, I mean, that's a lot of money. That, that's that's rent-to-own houseboat money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's, um, hell, that's, I'll take 10 number 20s and 20 number 10s at the come-and-go register without batting an earlobe or eyeball money. Good point. Mm. That's what happened with my Aunt Jean and Uncle Bobby. Well, he went by Bob. He was dick-lexic, and that way he could always spell his name to it. Right. Uh, anyway. B-O-B, 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 okay. Yeah, B-O-B, B-O-B, yep. His dying wish was to have his ashes embedded into a glass dildo <laughs> so that he'd always be there to satisfy my Aunt Jean after he's dead. I remember yes. reading about that. Yeah, yeah. that's well, true. All her alert, she gave it to her sister, my Aunt Becky. Oh, Really? She regifted it, Josh, on account of he never satisfied her while he's alive, and it would do him a disservice to start now. <laughs> I <laughs> see. Yeah. Really? She's always like the poet of the family. I can tell. Yeah, till, she, till she got her Karen cut, now she just, you know, spits big verbs and drawn crowds chewing out managers over expired coupons. <laughs> so this news story sort of cuts to the quick for my family. Matter of fact, I think people are getting ripped off on these cremations. Really? 
So I was thinking maybe I could help out in a time of need. So I'm launching Donnie Baker's Happily Ever After Business. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you bring me your loved one's fresh ground remains. I'll hook you up with one of our plans. Like, we got the, the Sky High package. Mm-hmm. And your loved one's remains will be tied to a helium balloon, a couple bottle rockets, and it was set them free behind my house to their favorite song played over my jam box. Mm. As long as it ain't no hip-hop, ABBA, or Justin Bieber's. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's market price, like forty nine ninety five. And the final package is called the Newly Widowed But Not Dead Yet Package. Oh. Oh. I'm still working on name. Probably have to have my Aunt Jean, you know, do a rewrite or come up with something better. But anyways, it comes with everything in a sky-high package. But after sending your husband's ashes up to space, I'll take you inside my queen-size waterbed. Mm-hmm. Got a new king-size comforter. Could even make it look closed casket. <laughs> Maybe put on some oh LL Cool J's Bobby Brown tenderonies. Uh-huh. Then, once I prime the pump... I'll demonstrate a move I call the jam box. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm a giver to your liver. <laughs> Swear to God. It's going to be our slogan. I've got to go. Good luck with that. Thanks, thanks, Johnny. Uh, get your ashes up in space with uh, Mylar balloons at Donnie's place. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Thank you very much, Donnie Baker. Let's, uh, let's, uh, Dear Bob and Tom. Oh, yes. Is this more sports? Uh, it's an email. Okay. Getting Tom to act like a normal person is like teaching a dog to use the phone. (laughs) Sure, you can train him to go through the motions, but as soon as the dog hears a voice on the other end, he's just going to start staring at the receiver and barking. (laughs) Okay. I consider that a compliment. Is that a compliment? Sure. Thank you you very much. Did you get water on your tea? Is everything all right over there with you? (laughs) Yes, I did. Okay, good. You want some whiskey in your water? Sugar sugar in your tea? tea. (laughs) No, I took my tea. I added the proper amount of water. Now it's in the refrigerator cooling for later. Back in your office? Not the refrigerator here, right? I'm not saying that one of us is going to urinate in your tea. (laughs) (laughs) But it could happen. But I will know about it. How will you know? How will you know about the camera in my office? <laughs> That's called the John Daly. <laughs> oh. Is that possible? Do you think you put liquor into like a, that scenario and get them progressively drunk and they wouldn't know it? That'd be fun for Tom. Remember the uh, the mm-hmm. news story about the guy that was uh, urinating into the uh, oh sure coffee? into the coffee machine and. And they caught him on camera well, it, yeah. peeing it, into the coffee instead machine Instead of, at like, work. peeing into a cup or whatever and pouring it in, wasn't he getting up on the counter? Yes. Yeah. They had him getting up on the counter, peeing into whatever the machine was, yeah. so that would all the... You talk oh, about man. you talk about a cup of morning Joe. <laughs> 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 yeah, or whatever his name was. Yeah, well, it'd be much funnier if his name was Joe. <laughs> and I, we'll have to dig up that story. But speaking of what's going on in the world of news, we do have uh, Christy Lee with the lighter side of things in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. What's happening over there? A giant swing on top of a 2,300-foot-tall cliff in China will be opening later this month. Nope. Nope. It's so cool. The nope. Yun Yang Long Gang Cliff Swing. Or I call it the uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, can I describe it, Christy? It's, sure. It's a giant arch, like, for example, like the St. Louis Arch, except it's positioned on the edge of a cliff. Wow. So when you swing out, you are Looking down, whatever, 2,500 feet. 354-foot-tall launch tower rests on a cliff above the Shinsun River in Yangyang County. Man. Yeah, the swing. It's, looks terrifying. It's got to be very scary. Oh, As my Lord. Safeguards against lightning, earthquakes, even on a level 14 typhoon. I had someone translate the sign, and it said splash zone. I went, wait a minute. (laughs) (laughs) Here's my favorite line in the story. It has been subjected to numerous tests over the last four months. Who signs up for that? (laughs) I assume that they put weighted bags or something. I would hope. Yeah, That's what they do with roller coasters. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's very cool. With a swing diameter of up to 100 feet, the swing is said to rival the Nevis Swing in Queenstown, New Zealand, as well as the Glenwood Canyon Cliff Swing here in the United States. Where I've, I would love to see that one. Yeah. Glenwood Canyon? That sounds cool. Oh, yeah. that's, uh... Have you ever done one of these, Jeff? I have, twice, yeah. I did it 
We had a free night at Six Flags St. Louis for uh, the cast of the Looney Tunes of show. Yes. Oh, and yes. was the cast. We were all together. invited uh, after Would hours. The too. star, yes. And man, I did it, and it was so scary. And then I went, you know what? I'm going to do it again because it won't be as scary this time. I was totally wrong. It was <laughs> kind of scarier, actually, because now I was just tempting fate. Wow. Yeah, those, those things are so cool. They are cool. But yeah, horrifying. I've done it once, and that was enough. There yeah. Was... <laughs> now, did you have to pull your own ripcord thing to... For it to uh, release from, we had, uh, we had to I do forget. it ourselves. I was so scared. I don't. Re I really don't remember. And that was the scary. I was like, am I going to pull the cord or am I going to unvelcro us from this? <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I this pulling harness? here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got a special request I want to squeeze in, and we've been playing a song by Pat Daly a lot about uh, being around someone a little too often. Mm. But I thought we would switch gears here and get oh. some Pat Daly music on. This is a song about what I think is going to be maybe starting again at some point soon legally. It's a song about uh, going out drinking. You should have seen me last night when I, I fell down laughing and I stumbled down a flight of metal stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I went crashing through the window at the VFW hall. <laughs> Tumbled o'er a pile of metal chairs. <laughs> then I cussed out my girlfriend, tried to feel up her mom. <laughs> I wrecked my car, I think I bruised my spine. <laughs> oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. <laughs> Always have myself a real good time. <laughs> I got drunk and stole this boat out of the Edgewater Yacht Club to 90 miles an hour up to the bay. <laughs> I sank her up by Buckeye Point and walked on into town. <laughs> Tore up someone's flowers on my way. <laughs> then I barged into the cruise nest and I threw up on the rug. I slapped that hostess on her big behind. Oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. I talk dirty to the waitress and I never ever leave her no tip. I leave her all my roaches in the guacamole dip. Oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. So I'm going out tonight and I'm gonna tie on <laughs> Does anybody here want to go out drinking with me? Yeah! Well, I'll take you to this biker bar where we can kick some ass. <laughs> and a gay bar. We'll get our drinks for free! <laughs> we'll do shooters of tequila and a case of beer apiece. We'll wash it down with a gallon of cheap island wine. Oh, you ought to go with me when I, I go out drinking Always have myself a real good time. I like to shout out loud and moon the crowd when I'm dancing on the bar. <laughs> then go out in the parking lot, piss on all the cars. <laughs> I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. Oh, give me that wine. <laughs> Always have myself a real good time. Oh, I'm feeling very fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a little bit of Pat Daly. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get a hold of us, of course, very simple. It's uh, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com in the world of email. We'd love to hear from you, and uh, we have uh, some other great stuff coming up that uh, you are asking about and asking for. I haven't mentioned this in a while. We have a uh, store, the Bob and Tom store. I bring it up because uh, we're donating all the money from that store uh, to uh, Feeding America, which. Uh, Right now, a lot of folks are having issues with that, and we're trying to help them out, so uh, that's what we're doing. And we've got hats and shirts and stuff. If you get a chance, look it over. Bob and Tom. The Bob and Tom store .com. In the meantime, we uh, uh, return to the news desk with uh, Christy Lee. Graduation ceremonies in the time of coronavirus aren't what they used to be, but it's not all bad. A Florida high school held a grad ceremony on the ocean for its seniors. Wow. The 12 graduates from Somerset Island Prep were given a free three-hour jet ski training course 
prior to last week's ceremony. Students wore caps, gowns, face masks, and life vests as they rode personal watercraft to accept their diplomas from the principal who was standing on a docked boat off Key West. In Speedos. <laughs> <laughs> and Prin- zinc on his nose. Principal Tom Romp- Rompella used a grabber pole device to hand students their diplomas. Pretty cool. Did yeah. I ever tell you what? My senior year, I graduated 81st out of 162 people. Hey, right there in the middle. All right there. Not too showy. <laughs> yeah. Not too smart. Not too showy. Not too stupid. But you weren't on a jet ski. I wasn't on a jet ski. No, man, it was a hot, though. Whoo. Man. This and is I graduated cool. at 76, so we had the red, white, and blue tassels, even oh, though our nice. colors were red and white. Did you see the pictures of this thing with the jet skis? No. Well, the sad thing was they heaved their, their caps in the air, and those tassels choked to death a couple of... Oh my a couple God. of turtles. Oh, man. Well, turtles and turtles? Yeah. a couple of uh, herons. Or that. Yeah, that's yeah. a shame. Yeah. yeah. yeah by the way, this, this, uh, this, these species. are this, this school, the fighting one percenters. <laughs> yeah. <I guess. laughs> that's one of the first things I was thinking. Go, go, you know. privilege. <laughs> yeah. go privilege. Cap and gown and jet ski. Uh, wow. <laughs> so, I bet it was a blast. Jet skis are an incredible amount of fun oh, for, these are, for about 40 minutes. This is a really then cool visual. Then you've experienced visual. everything you ever They really to. are. You go out, and you yep. come back, and then you go out. Never been on one. Well, and it's about then you go, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, the salt water <laughs> in your eyes is awful. Oh, they're great. They're great. Yeah, but, I see them and go, okay. how could I, why would I ever want to get off one of those things? It looks so fun. No, this is a pretty cool visual for those of you who have not seen the jet ski graduation. We, we happen to be uh, very fortunate. We have one of the leading jet ski mechanics in the United States with us, uh, Pat Godwin. There's a lot of maintenance. You have to flush <laughs> that, uh, flush it out with uh, the salt water out and get the moss out and the seaweed. How do you know this? <laughs> I had one in Miami for seven years. I, I didn't buy you. it, but I used I it. Oh, you yeah. made Maintained a jet ski in Miami. Oh, yeah, there's a whole the, there's now, a this, thing that brings it up. Now, did this belong to some coos you were sleeping with? <laughs> it, at the time? What? <laughs> it was a K sound. It was a Kim. Oh, really? Uh, down in Miami, yeah. Uh-huh. Belonged to her family. Yeah, yeah Kimberly Coos. The good family. Kimberly <laughs> Coos, yeah, that was her. Uh, of the Miami Coos. Mr. Like Coos. <laughs> they invented the Coos <laughs> team, of course. Yes, of which course. Of course. No, they, they invented the uh, the Huggy for your uh, that's aluminum that's can. That's that's they invented the lawsuit is what they invented. They sued Mr. Godwin. Uh, okay, so uh, this is a nice, fun thing. I mean, it is a nice, fun thing, and it's really it looks pretty cool. They asked, actually. they asked. By the way, they did ask the, the the families to hold all splashing until the end. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, just yeah. and of course, no, yeah, they don't believe it. Sure. No, nobody one. does that. Please hold all your applause. Nobody, nobody does. No, that. I certainly didn't. At my niece's grave, yeah. my, my brothers and I lost our minds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. That, uh, what, what are they going to figure that 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 doesn't work? <laughs> uh, why not just let them applaud and yeah, it makes it yeah, calm who down. cares? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're here another twenty minutes. So what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Just tell me about. Yeah, there's an open bar when this is over, and let them, everything oh. will be fine. Oh, hey. uh, when we come back, we have clown shoes in the news. Hmm. God, who doesn't want a pair of clown? Oh, shoes? The, have you seen these? Uh, don't don't ruin it. <laughs> God. I want clown shoe cl- clown shoes that make a noise. When clown I shoes are oh, fun. Sure. That's honk, the only way to honk, go. Yeah. Honk, honk, yeah. And a little daisy on the top of them. Are they hard oh. to that walk? That squirts in? water. That might not be a thing. I might have just invented the uh, epitome of clown shoes. Right. What? So you walk. You want you... the broken flower pot hat with the daisy sticking out of it. Yes, where you can push a bulb <laughs> and it pops out and squirts you right in the face. <laughs> Gotta have one. When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. State law. Bob and Tom. 
24-7. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything seems to cost you something these days. Well, not the Bob and Tom app. It's free, and it's available right now in your iTunes or Google Play Store. You can listen to your local station, tune in to Bob and Tom 24-7, access a stream of classic bits on demand. You can even set an alarm that will wake you up with the show. How cool is that? Bob and Tom's app, free at the iTunes or Google Play Store. Pick it up today. From the crazycockwine.com sports desk, I'm Chick McGee, and this is your Bob and Tom sports update. Tiger Woods is speaking out for the first time since George Floyd's death, saying his heart goes out to Floyd, his family, and everyone is hurting. The 44-year-old golfer broke his silence with a statement on his Twitter account last night. He said, I've always had the utmost respect for our law enforcement. They train so diligently to understand how, when, and where to use force. This shocking tragedy clearly crossed that line. And Major League Baseball owners and players appear to be far apart on compensation on a proposal to resume the sport in the virus pandemic. Players favor 114-game regular season and full prorated salaries, leaving each player with approximately 70% of what he had been slated to earn. That proposal was made Sunday, five days after Major League Baseball's plan for an 82-game season with additional pay cuts that would leave each player taking in 23 to 47% of his original pay. And former Auburn football coach Pat Dye has passed away at the age of 80. He took over a troubled program in 1981 and turned it into a Southeastern Conference football power. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I think this is an ascot. Yes. Oh, God. We were talking handkerchiefs. Okay, here's a paisley handkerchief. This is nice. How do you tie these? Scott? I don't know. I'm not Charles Nelson. No, I'm I... not Paul Lind. <laughs> <laughs> can I pull this off, do you think? Is that, is that I look? think I you think can. can. This adds an element of pretentiousness to oh, me. That... You need to go home wearing that. You look like, a, like a pansexual off-Broadway <laughs> director. <laughs> Like I, when I, when no. I was lunching with Edward Albee, oh, acting sure. isn't being real. Being real is acting. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, yes. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom 24-7. My God, you mean you've got a Rex? <laughs> yes, we've, we've got a Rex. He's right over there. Oh, my gosh, look at him. He's huge. How old is he? Oh, at least 65. You know, we don't even know for sure. This summer, you won't believe your eyes. From Steven Spielberg, the story of a theme park that time forgot. Geriatric Park. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Rex, come over here. Hey, what's it? We found Rex wandering around the mall early one morning. He's been here since the inception of geriatric Park. Hey, what you found? What's he doing with that metal device? Well, it's some sort of apparatus that we believe he uses to hunt. Oh, oh, watch him when it makes that beeping sound. Hey, 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 look at that. A shiny new penny. Uh, huh? Hey. Yo, Creamer! Hey, watch you! Come along, let's get in the tram and I'll show you the other pavilion. <laughs> oh my gosh, a 63 Buick! I haven't seen one of these things in years. Yes, it's to make them feel as if they're in their natural habitat. <laughs> uh, hey, your, your left turn signal stuck on. <laughs> we found. They like it that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a whole herd of them. Where are they heading? It's feeding time. They're going to the smorgasbord cafeteria. We find that for some reason they like the meal more if they wait in line and the food is set out under bright light. <laughs> are they herbivores or carnivores? Well, they're mostly herbivores, although we discovered that if we cut the meat up into little pieces for them, they enjoy it more. <laughs> oh my gosh! Doctor, look over here at these tracks. Is this some sort of quadruped? No, uh, those are just walker tracks. You'll see those quite often. <laughs> now, let's get over. No, no, look out! That, that big one's attacking! You! You! Where's my World's Fair spoon? <laughs> I want my spoon! Come here, boy! Oh, oh, hold on, I'll, I'll distract him. Hey, hey, look over there! It's Vic Damone! <laughs> Vic Damone? <laughs> really? I love him. I saw 
I met the Starlight Music <laughs> back in 1962. <laughs> Hi, 746 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. See, that's it. it exude normality. Yes. Even though it's fake. Right. Exude normality. Gorgeous morning going on out there, like 70 and no humidity. 65, but you're close. Bingo. Million See dollar that? morning. What is, what is it with her today? I don't know. She, everything. She did checking everything. Her day went to hell. Because she, she gets blamed. If she goes at 70, yeah, and somebody's going to go, go hey. do you hear what Christy Lee said? It's 70. And it's not right. Well, yeah. they think, they know I'm going to be <laughs> wrong. Hey, get out and vote today, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's primary it's day. Primaries. It is? Huh? Yes. Oh, sorry. That'll help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? At least, we're, at least we're together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For the last day, we're together. Isn't that nice? And that uh, was an editorial. Got an email. Sorry. sorry. Wait a second. I got to introduce the show. Okay. In case you're just joining us, um, welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, we're in, what day is this of the semi? Now it's the semi-quarantine. I can't even keep track. Uh, oh, who oh knows? Uh, <sighs> let's see now. Let's go this way. Ace Cosby is our engineer. Hey. And he's the proprietor of the OmahaSteaks.com. Ace Cosby joke of the day brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Hey, we sent some Omaha Steaks to Kostaki Economopolis. We're going to talk to Kostaki in half an hour. All right. We'll see how he did with his steaks. Oh, let's see now. That's a Chick McGee across the way. You'll find him at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Crazy Cock Wine. Ask your liquor store, hey, would you please carry Crazy Cock Wine in the cans? Thank you very much. We like it in the can. There's Josh in the orange. That's That chair is at least half orange. It's the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair. And then the Pat Godwin's on the big screen to my left. He's in the other building, but he is um, presented to us. Uh, via some electronic thing that we got working. It's called a camera. Called a camera, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Just, uh, just a camera. No, it's a camera and a screen and some kind of hookup that nope. didn't work this morning. We had a hiccup with our hookup. And hiccup then, with a hookup? Yeah. What? Maybe someone was... I'm going to run over you with a pickup. On, How tug, does that tug, sound? Tugging, tugging on a hookah. They could have been tugging on a hookah when they had hookah a hookah chaka. Hookah chaka. In case chaka. you missed earlier. <laughs> if you missed earlier... We haven't introduced Christy Lee oh, okay. in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Christy. Okay, you, right. you got a letter. Let's go. Uh, I have a problem at the compound. There's a pest in my garage. Correct. Yeah. Could be a chipmunk. Could be a M mole. Could be a vole. Could be an aphid. <laughs> okay. no, that's a small problem. Could be it's good. bigger than an aphid. Could be, bigger an, ex, than an, aphid. Could be an ex wife. <laughs> could be a chipmunk. Do you have roses growing in Coming your garage? To get a couch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if this was a fight, they'd stop it. <laughs> bam, bam. Yeah, this just turned into a hate crime. Cut me, Mick. <laughs> uh, cut me. All right, Brock. Play left handed. Oh, sorry. Play? No fight. <laughs> hey, uh, dear chick, uh, to get rid of your vole in your garage. How do you spell vole? V O L E. -L -E. Yeah. Okay. It's like a mole, only different. I think they, they it? voles move in and live in mole tracks. I, I think. It looks like a little rodent. Yeah, they'll live in mole runs. Yeah. Will they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, when does this get interesting? <laughs> I need to borrow one of your eagles as a natural predator. Oh, <laughs> so I can cool. oh that's perfect. I'll release right, it in go. the garage, and it'll catch the... Uh, and we have the eagles right near the radio station, and apparently the uh, the eaglets are oh not God. flying yet. I'll let you know when they do. Uh, one. Uh, Why don't you go out there and sit by the airy and uh, yeah. wait until they do yeah, fly? Sir. They're jumping. You can see them kind of leaping from the nest. Right <laughs> what if they fall out? That would be horrible. Well, well they haven't fallen out. They know nature you know, for you. You know, some of them do. And they don't fly all the time. Okay, well. They uh, flap. Crap. Oh, they'll they try. try. <laughs> they'll put up quite a squawk until they hit the ground. Wait a minute. Is that Man, the track phone hotline? Like it, it is the track phone Hello, hotline. Hello, Bob and Tom show. This is Dick Hitswater sitting in for Destiny Hyman. And this <laughs> is some of the news. Destiny Hyman. Hyman. Surf's up. All way up. up. Surfs up way up. During a huge storm, a man in Newport Beach, California, was seen riding a 10-foot wave on an inflatable air mattress. Wow. Said one on liquor. I bet that's the last time he takes a nap on the beach during low tide. Ah, certainly. <laughs> that's a... An entire family from Virginia was hospitalized after picking and eating a mushroom known as the vomiter. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, what did they expect? The name of the mushroom tells you what it does. That's why this reporter won't touch a shiitake mushroom if I'm not within 15 yards of a warm toilet seat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shiitake. Hey, hey, dog lovers, take it from me. 
<laughs> if you're thinking about putting false eyelashes on a golden retriever, it's not easy. On the plus side, you'll feel significantly less lonely when Fido bats those lovely eyes in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it, yeah. True. In, in, science, in science news, there's a newly discovered group of deep sea worms known as Elvis worms. Mm -hmm. This reporter finds that Elvis worms are good for baiting your hook when going for... Kingfish. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, it's not for lack. Man. It wasn't for lack of selling it. I'll tell you. That. Uh, Son of a gun. Uh, TCB man. Take care of bait. There you Thank go. You <laughs> Take care of bait. <laughs> Thank you. TCB. Hey, I Elvis just entered the room. <laughs> In other news, attention, ladies. Some cosmetic experts say your lipstick should match the color of your areolas and nipples. It sounds like something a door-to-door -door male Avon salesman made up. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, what shade of lipstick do you think would look best? Is your husband home? <laughs> no, okay, ma'am. Then take your top off and I'll show you. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> take care of bait. Hey, take a big uh, 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 kingfish. In some happy news, SpaceX had a successful launch and shot two American astronauts up to the International Space Station from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade. When asked about their first, Im first impression of the International Space Station, the two American astronauts simultaneously responded, there are a lot of foreigners up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't say international. Yeah, yeah. 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 Speaking of space, there are now multiple companies that will blast your loved one's cremated ashes into space for as little as $2,500. Mm -hmm. Now, some ashes are even deposited onto satellites. And with an app on your phone, you can see exactly where your deceased loved one is floating high above you in the atmosphere. Yeah. On the downside, now your loved one can literally look down on you from heavens while you're masturbating. Oh. Very awkward. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, Josh. I, I certainly do. You see that coming, did you? <laughs> and finally, and finally, according to new, uh, two new studies, masturbation may have a positive effect on the immune system. And in this time of COVID-19 travel restrictions and self-quarantines, many people are looking for every opportunity to bolster their immune systems. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was feeling a bit queasy earlier this morning. <laughs> I called my doctor and he said, watch two hours of Pornhub and call me in the morning. <laughs> and one more thing, I checked with the CDC and they told me masturbation does indeed improve your immune, immune system, but please observe social distancing and no circle jerks of 10 or more. <laughs> okay. Though with the six foot social distancing, I must say these circle jerks have gotten a lot less messy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is Dick Hitchwater <laughs> sitting in for Destiny Hyman, and this has been some other news. <laughs> Destiny must be an assignment. Uh, yeah, I guess so, so much. Dick yeah. Hitswater sitting in with the news. Thank you very much, Dick. Uh, Christy, what's coming up? Give me the give me the uh, preview. Clown shoes coming up in the news. We have robot waiters. We have big must tiger. Serve. What must serve? Yeah, More must fries. serve. Somebody uh, stop it! More hot soup. <laughs> and there's actually someone out there who'll pay you twenty thousand dollars to walk the Appalachian Trail and drink beer if you're interested. Oh, all right. Mm. That's a job opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. You can find us on Twitter at Bob and Tom, or you can email us at Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Chick McGee here at the, uh, the old compound. And uh, they want me to tell you about BobandTom.com, where you can join and be a Bob and Tom VIP and all the swell stuff that you get to be a part of because you're a VIP. What kind of stuff? All sorts of things. Like what? There are club meetings and there are Dakota rings and all and secret handshakes. And also go to BobandTomStore.com where you can get Bob and Tom hats and sweatshirts, t-shirts, and shorts, socks. We have socks. I'm not sure about the socks. But uh, yeah, BobandTomStore.com for Bob and Tom stuff. And then BobandTom.com to join the VIP.
the VIP, you also get uh, the Off the Air podcast. Come on by and visit, okay? BobandTom.com, BobandTomStore.com. I'm sure the machine will find out how Bert's doing with his uh, tour or non-tour as it is these days and find out when he plans to head back out again, as if any of us really know when that's going to happen. But we'll see what Bert has to say later on this morning right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump has threatened to deploy the United States military unless states quickly halt the violent protests that have convulsed cities from coast to coast. Trump said Monday he was recommending governors deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers to dominate the streets. The president says if governors fail to take action, he will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. His statements came as the U.S. braced for another round of violence at a time when the country's already buckling because of the coronavirus outbreak and the depression-level unemployment it has caused. The brother of George Floyd has appealed for peace in the aftermath of riots and arson fires following the death of his brother in Minneapolis. Terrence Floyd appeared at the intersection in South Minneapolis where his brother died after a white police officer pinned his neck with his knee for several minutes a week ago. Wearing a face mask with the image of his brother's face on it, Terrence Floyd spent several minutes of silence at the flowers and other memorials that have sprung up. Quote, I understand you're upset, Terrence said to the crowd through a bullhorn, but he said civil unrest and destruction is not, quote, going to bring my brother back at all. And the artist Christo may be gone, but some of his upcoming public projects will continue to be on display. His website, which announced his death over the weekend, said Christo's next project, the Arc de Triomphe Wrapped, will appear in September in Paris as planned. Also, an exhibition about Christo and Jean-Claude's work is to run from July through October at the Centre Georges Pompidou. And that is your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I say all this to introduce the How About You tribute. Oh. How About You, of course, is Chick's new catchphrase that he periodically forgets. Okay, here we go. How about you? How about you? How about you? Bum, bum, bum. Chick McGee is here to say how about you? Bum, bum, bum. How about you? How about you? How about you? Bum, bum, bum. And highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom 24-7. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Today is every Monday, a morning college lecture. Taking notes on Socrates and other useless crap. From Kierkegaard to Nietzsche and all those stupid douchebags who couldn't (laughs) find their asses with a flashlight and a map. I've heard it all before. I failed this class last year. I know exactly what this lecture needs. A wet t-shirt contest with the girls from Masturbator. The Kappas and the Thetas and that redhead in my row. We'll spray them with cold water. They'll jiggle and read Plato. I'll cheer them on as Aristotle Jr. starts to grow. That's when I wake up. Monday morning suck. Monday Monday mornings really suck. It's another Monday morning, our weekly office meeting. I'm very much hungover and this room is really bright. My dumbass boss starts talking about how to cut expenses. I should have stayed in bed and tapped that girl I met last night. I've heard this crap before. I should raise my hand. I know exactly what this meeting needs. Go on at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Looking out the window. This, that's a nice window, isn't it? Hi, this is Tom. That's Josh. And we're talking about Window Nation. And Josh is uh, in the process of getting, you have 16 windows in your house? That's right. And so you had to buy how many? 
Eight. Because That's because uh, Winter Nation has a special thing going on. Tell me all about it. Well, you get two free windows for every two you buy. No limit on that, Chick. So you what get if a, I need 20 windows? Well, then you buy 10 and you get 10 for free. Son of a gun. Or you could buy, um, how many do you need, 20? Uh, 20. I need a Florida room. You I could buy 18 and then give okay. uh, 16 to Josh. Uh, this is getting confusing, <laughs> but it's not confusing if you go to windownation.com because you also get deferred payments for two years. They'll do a free online quote, and they do it virtually so they don't even have to come over to your house, and that quote's valid for six months. Plus, as did I mention, deferred payments for two years, two free windows for every two you buy, and Window Nation features zero down payment, zero interest for two years. Tell them more, Josh. That's exactly right. They have over 1,500 customized window styles to choose from. That free online virtual quote, valid for six months, deferred payments, two years. Get two free windows with every two you buy, no limit, and zero down payment, zero interest for two years. Thank you very much. That's windownation.com. Tell them uh, Tom and Josh sent you. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I can feel it. I don't know. Can you feel it? Feel what? I can dig it. I can dig it. You can dig it? I can dig it. He can, can dig, dig it. it. We can dig it. She can dig it. Yep. We're all digging it. We're all digging it. Thank you very much. What we're digging is the forthcoming Ace Cosby joke of the day brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. I can just feel it in the air. But first, I have to mention that Christy Lee is through the glass in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Yes, Chick, I am. Chick McGee's over there. Hi. There's Pat Goddard. We're going to get a song out of Pat here in just a second. But right. uh, for those new to the show, these aren't really jokes. These are um, cultural observations brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com, starring the man himself, Mr. Ace Cosby. Why did the chicken return to the buffet? Oh. Hmm. Why? To get to the other sides. <laughs> uh, to the other side. Signs, you see. They're, they're like, you know, you probably getting cottage cheese and yep, sure. uh, broccoli. Maybe, a, maybe a sweet potato moderate, casserole. Maybe sweet potato moderate, fries. Monterey oh, Jack. That maybe. sounds good. Oh. That sounds delicious. Speaking of sides. Yes. Costco plans to bring back free samples. Oh, okay. Yeah, they stopped for a while. Yeah, the retailers stopped offering samples back in March due to safety concerns regarding the coronavirus. The samples will return sometime this month. Costco Chief Financial Officer Richard Galenti said, quote, We're going to start doing some things in mid-June on a slow rollout basis in sampling. I cannot tell you any more, but... Needless to say, it's not going to be where you go and just pick an open sample with your fingers. So is that guy we all know that goes there for lunch every day? Yeah. Hey, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> hey, it's free. Is there a separate line to get in for just the sample people? <laughs> You gonna buy anything today, sir? Man, that is some sweet food, baby. Because I've never taken a sample. Of no kidding. Because that's I, I think people look at me and they expect me to, <laughs> and I don't give them the uh, I don't give them the. Uh, you don't give them the satisfaction. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna let yep. the press see you have a no matter, sample at Costco. No matter how much I want. <laughs> that's really kind of sad. It is. God, I feel bad now. Well, look. You should be allowed to go have a little... I wonder who perpetuates this problem. Yeah. Hugh, yeah. Hugh Hefty? Yeah. <laughs> any, any guesses over there? there? Tom yeah. Morchalk Griswold? Yeah. That's where I was going. Yeah, we had a... Captain? We had a request for the Morchalk thing. I don't think we actually have it. Uh, anyway. See, the Morchalk is right, that when right. uh, Josh passes away... Then, yeah, when they're doing my outline. Uh, outline in the chalk. He outline, jumps from a building and... Someone's yeah. going to yell Morchalk. Morchalk. Mm -hmm. No, like Tom a, thought that was like hilarious. a CSI thing. Like, oh, big fellow. Uh, can you dig it? I can, I I can dig sure. it. Yeah. Can you dig it? Based on it. Ace was shaking his head. I don't think he can dig it. No, no. he can't. can't dig it? No, this song, this song is everything that's wrong with the world. This song came out, and it was an instrumental, and it was... Glorious. Grazing in the grass. Grazing in the grass. It was wonderful. It's a little heavy on the you cowbell. You Kayla and I, <laughs> you have to admit this might be so our first argument. <laughs> you, you're telling me you grazing don't, in the grass. You don't and dig. And then it. they come. Some record exec came in and jammed these vocal, these lyrics in. So and, you prefer this version? Yes, very much so. Now, see, I think they could cut the cowbell here. But it continues. That's right. And it continues. I agree. Josh has a point. Too much cowbell. No, it's, Nobody likes me anymore. No, I, I think it's, it's just the right amount of cowbell. You think so? Then the trumpet comes in. Where's my cowbell? Okay, I do like that it stops in the Hugh trumpet. Hugh Masekela is the trumpet player. Of right, right. Made famous. Anyone? Anyone? I don't know. No? On the great animal song. Uh, <laughs> here's, a, here's a sentence I bet down you Down in Monterey. You, I bet you wouldn't hear it today. I had to move my ascot to find my cowbell. <laughs> 
<laughs> Never been said by anyone before. Apparently. I don't think so. Great instrumental, certainly. Now, that was you. Okay. Was it? Wait, is that you? No. Not no, he's, <laughs> no, he's doing it. It's too much. Is it me, a Memorex, or Hugh Masekalo? Uh, Hugh Masekalo, you know his middle name? No. Sado. Hugh Sado Masekalo. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Do not laugh at that. <laughs> Sorry. Not worthy. Ace, what do you give that a scale of 1 to 10? 5. <laughs> All right. Very generous. <laughs> Very generous giving a 1 to 5. Is this a, a better cowbell? <laughs> no. No. That's more dead, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a, a Broadway show. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Don't talk about Show my choir. friends, let alone my friends of distinction. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Don't laugh at that. No, second, you're not meant to laugh at second, that. Second Don't wit. Laugh. You're meant to admire its wit. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I'm, I'm searching for the wit. <laughs> you know what? You hold up a sign when I'm supposed to laugh. Oh, what am I saying? That's what he does all the time. Yes, that. he does. <laughs> How can you not enjoy that? I can dig it. You can... She I, can I like it. I like both. What makes the world I can dig around. it. You can dig it. He can dig it. She can dig it. Can you dig it? I and the it. lyrics are... Yeah, it's clunky at best. No, it's I think they're jammed about, it's in It's about there. getting together as a group and digging things. What's the difference yeah. between did, 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 or doing that? Yes. There's no difference because they're digging. Yeah, uh, I can dig it. We can dig it. <laughs> I, I appreciate. I got both. a I got a mold to catch in my garage. Oh. Can we pick think, it up uh, here? Both. I was just I watching. I was just watching uh, no. an aerial shot of a field in Brazil, and they were singing this. <laughs> oh my! Oh, That's certainly. Uh, yeah. The audio doesn't match the visual. <laughs> well, when you once watch again, it, but. all right. <laughs> once again, I think we need to uh, recognize that we're all here together on the last day. I think I think that's fine. I think it's wonderful. Now remember, don't anyone talk to the press. <laughs> and, and just don't right. answer the phone. And, and now, Pat, um, <sighs> I want to do your song again. We had a great world record this morning. A oh. guy, a guy ran a mile in blue jeans and set the world record for the blue jean mile. He seems like a great guy. Johnny Gregoric. He could run, name. you could run, I could run, I could run. Yeah. He popped on a pair of Levi 501s, ran the mile in yeah. 406.25, which is great. He did it in honor of his brother, yeah. which I think is even more cool, and he raised $35,000 for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It's a great record. I mean, that's really fast in a pair of jeans. Now, at Levi 501s, we determined those are the button fly. Yes, sir. Those are the original yeah, 501s. I do, I do, I do not uh, yeah. care for the button fly. Do not partake. Uh, but interestingly enough, um, he had his late brother's nickname, Patty, P-A-D-D-Y, stitched on the one shoe, which is great because um, your nickname is Patty G, Pat. Yeah, it is, yeah. Now, um, uh, the obvious way to go with a parody is the song Forever in Blue Jeans. Uh, yeah. But I was wondering if um, you could really Neil Diamond it up. Because oh, okay. both Chick and I love that uh, over-the-top Neil Diamond thing. Uh, yeah. Well, he starts off real low, so here's, here's how it should go. Here we go. Denim pants. Put on my 501s and took a chance. <laughs> Ran a mile the quickest ever seen. Oh, look at me. The fastest in blue jeans, babe. <laughs> More Neil. The denim chafes. You'll get a case of swamp, but it's not safe. <laughs> Thighs rub together, I think my groin's on fire. I'm no liar, I'm the fastest in blue jeans. Here we go. Running in jeans. Running in jeans makes a sound as I burst at the seams. I get stuck in my fly, I'll give buttons a try. <laughs> Here we go! I don't mean to gush. You try breaking this record, David Rush. <laughs> Grow a pair and try to outrun me. And you'll see the fast and blue jeans, Dave. <laughs> uh, a tribute to David Rush, the man who is breaking a world record almost every day. I bet he tries. Has he, he has run one, hasn't he? He's has done he a, done? He's done a couple of odd. I think, didn't run he, one, doesn't he do one know. where he's juggling or something yeah, at the same he, time? Oh, I think so. Breaking a balloon with each foot yeah, or something. Is, yeah. I'm looking this up. Oh, the, now, here's the one. The guy tried to run a, a mile in corduroy pants and unfortunately <laughs> set himself on fire. And <laughs> oh, died. that's died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends oh. on what whale he was using. Yeah. 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 Doesn't yeah. Fastest Mile in Blue Jeans sound like a bad country song? Yep. 
<laughs> That's just my I'm own telling you, people out there, we've all seen the guy at the gym in the blue jeans lifting weights. Yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. 280 on the bench press with, with no problem. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you think uh, he just runs in there during like his lunch break or something? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Well, in any event, congratulations on the record to uh, Johnny Gregoric. Good for you, buddy. Here's something he won't be doing. He won't be running a record in clown shoes. A cobbler in Romania is making these shoes. They resemble giant leather clown shoes. Hmm. So imagine, if you will, a regular leather Oxford, but then it has a really long toe. point. This yeah, is silly, toe. Yeah. Yep. You know why he's doing it, Josh? I don't. Encourage social distancing. All right. Yep, that's right. right. They Is come that in because a... people will see you and think you're some kind of weirdo <laughs> and not want to get near you? or Well, no, it's for the coronavirus. They come in European size 75, which is a size 42 in America, which I'm not. What's a size 42? Okay, I'm looking at these. <laughs> They're ridiculous. They are um, certainly more than a couple of feet long. If two people wearing the shoes face each other, they'll be about four and a half feet apart, Tom. Uh, the problem is, as you pointed out, Christy, they look like regular shoes but elongated. They're yeah. not colorful. No, they're not fun. Yeah, they're they, not fun clown, clown shoes. shoes need to be... They don't have a flower that squirts water. No. no they just look like regular You look like a complete jackass. Yeah, each yeah, pair takes course. two days like to make. Someone dropped an anvil on your toes and you were in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They cost $115. So far, he's received five orders for the shoes. Oh, no, it's yeah. A, and I made the national newswire, international newswire. Um, yeah. Other good ways, though, in this tradition, if you want to socially distance, uh, mm -hmm. it's put on a red nose. People think that's weird. Sure. It's not Red Nose Day. Yeah. Yeah. Juggle knives. Oh, that'll keep people away. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Carry a gun. Any of these. Yeah. Sure. Wave, wave a pistol around. Yeah. <laughs> Christy, obviously, yes. if, if you're wearing these two-foot-long shoes, I mm -hmm. assume that some lady would be very disappointed oh, in, yeah. that, in the moment of the big reveal. Oh. You know what they say, big shoes. You're saying big that clowns, socks, yeah. clowns get a lot of ass? Is that what you're saying? Well, the, you know, the big feet thing. Uh, Have you found that to be true in your experience in life, Christy? <laughs> is that too personal No, question? I don't think there's very any correlation. There's no correlation between mm -hmm. large feet? No. Okay. And a swing, no. big swing and pee. Well, but how... <laughs> How big a sample size are we talking about? <laughs> Christie's. I mean, I think only to have this discussion, we need to, you know. A true whore? <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody who's been out there. I'm going to say over 100 at least. Yeah, I, I would say 100. Okay, yeah. so, no, I'm a sorry, family sorry. feud. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Christie. We, 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 we need bigger numbers. Okay. It's yeah. Surveyed 100 it, it's like, clowns. And it's like many things in contemporary culture. Many of these studies just don't have the proper scientific method. They're not doing <laughs> mm -hmm. double blind studies. They don't That's have right. the proper amount of numbers. That's what we need right now are more numbers. Yeah, they're yeah. rushing I to love, get I just out. love opening up the paper now and uh, bless this. There's a 40% chance of a 75% chance. Statistic to death. I mean, <laughs> yes, I have yeah. no idea what's going on. Now, I can tell you one number that you're going to want to remember. What's that? I don't know. What number is, uh, what's the date of, uh, of uh, Father's Day? June 21st. There you go. Remember that number. I'm going to tell you the one number you should remember. What was that again? <laughs> we'll see. Now, now I'll remember. That's what just happened. <laughs> The number, uh, Father's Day, and the, what's the best gift for Father's Day? Your dad does not want a rock that says world's best dad. Well, he wants a dart a desk dartboard No, set. he doesn't. That's what he wants. No, he doesn't what? want no? that. No, he doesn't. Hmm. He, he doesn't wants want steak. A, he doesn't want a clown holding toilet paper for his office. He wants <laughs> yeah, he steaks. he might want that, but, it, but give him the steaks, too. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk numbers? Uh, let's talk numbers. Uh -huh. How about the number one, as oh. in one pound of perfectly cured, incredibly thick, applewood smoked steak cut bacon? Hello. There we go. Where, where do you get that? <laughs> well, you can get that with select Father's Day packages at omahasteaks.com. That's right. Go to omahasteaks.com, enter the code BTS into the search bar. You'll see all the great options available for old daddy. Many include free shipping and that free steak cut bacon I mentioned earlier. Omaha Steaks has a variety of Father's Day packages that include world-famous Omaha Steaks, naturally aged at least 21 days for tenderness and hand-carved to perfection. Burgers, franks, sausages, perfect for grilling. I tell you what, man, when you open up those beef franks, you're going to go, those are the biggest hot dogs I've ever seen until they're on the grill for a few minutes. You go, how did they get this plump, this juicy? They are incredible. It's amazing. They're endorsed by my four-year-old daughter, Hart. As she, they should and, be. And, and if you, anyone who has a four-year-old knows they won't eat anything <laughs> <laughs> except for bubble gum. She loves those. Those are the best dogs ever. Yes. Premium poultry and pork cut by Omaha Steaks butchers and individually sealed for freshness and flavor. Taste easy to make side dishes plus one step family meals my goodness get that meat lovers lasagna you will not regret it artisan desserts much much more make father's day simple this year send dad the gift he really wants 
perfectly aged Omaha steaks. Now, you can cook them for him, but he may have his own style. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I know if I gave my dad steaks and then I said, hey, I'm going to make them for you, he'd go, no, thank you. I'll go ahead and uh, do this myself. Uh-huh. That's because he liked him his way. That's right. And also he'd prefer having some time alone. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha Steaks, get free shipping and free steak cut bacon with select packages. Visit omahasteaks.com, type BTS in the search bar for the best Father's Day gifts today. Omaha Steaks. You know, I had steak cut bacon for the first time three weeks ago. Isn't it? Uh, you don't. I, you won't go back. How did this just happen? <laughs> yes. Who do I go back and say, hey, what happened? To, why, why didn't I know about steak cut bacon? Yes. When we come back, we're going to talk with Kostaki Economopoulos, comedian who just happened to receive a gift box from yours truly of Omaha Steaks. All right. We'll get a full report. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Bob. And this is Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, head on over to Bob and Tom's YouTube channel and subscribe right now. Do it today. It doesn't cost you a single thing. Just go to Bob and Tom Show on the YouTube channel. Subscribe now, and you can be watching Bob and Tom tonight, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, plus access to Bob and Tom archives and highlights as well through the Bob Tom YouTube channel. Subscribe now. It'll cost you nothing. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The music industry is planning to turn off the music and hold a day to reflect and implement change in response to the death of George Floyd and the killings of other black people. Several top record labels organized Blackout Tuesday as violent protests erupted around the world sparked by Floyd's death, as well as the killings of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor. Music-based companies Live Nation and TikTok, as well as the Recording Academy, posted to social media that it planned to support and stand with the black community. Meanwhile, the guitar company Gibson's holding a benefit concert to support the famed Apollo Theater in Harlem, featuring Cool and the Gang, Gary Clark Jr., Michael McDonald, and Kev Mo. Dionne Warwick and Dougie Fresh will make special appearances. The live virtual event to kick off Black Music Month called Let's Stay Together, a benefit to support the Apollo, was to be today, but because of Blackout Tuesday, they've moved it to Thursday. And yes, there will be speeches from Barack and Michelle Obama and even Beyonce, but there also will be musical performances. YouTube's virtual commencement ceremony called Dear Class of 2020 will take place this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern and will include performances from BTS, Lizzo, Camila Cabello, among others. Also appearances from Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Bill and Melinda Gates, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, Demi Lovato, and more. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Bob and Tom 
<laughs> Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. This has been Chick McGee speaking. From Donnie Baker and the Pork Pistols. <laughs> she gave a sign for the bedroom. Hey, 822 Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Sunshine in 88. Few clouds tonight down to 67. Partly cloudy chance for an afternoon thunderstorm tomorrow. High 87. Currently sunshine 66. Thank you very much, Christy Lee. Um, now, um, we're going to talk with Kostaki Konimopoulos in a matter of moments. Certainly look forward to that. I'm trying to train Alexa here. Alexa, please uh, turn on the Bob and Tom Show. Leave it on constantly. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Via iHeartRadio. Thank you. Where was I? Oh, uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chick McGee across the way at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. We're going to check in with a sportsman of sorts. Kostaki Konimopoulos will be our guest in a matter of moments. We'll have him on the big screen. Uh, we also have uh, Christy Lee over to my right in hey. the uh, in the uh, other studio in this building behind the glass, mm -hmm. socially distanced and separated by uh, glass. Glass. Yeah. Uh, Josh Arnold is right over there, but he's at least 12 feet away from me the way I like it. And um, he's in the orangeinsouls.com sidekick chair. Chick McGee, 15 feet away from me at least. And that's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ace Cosby, equally distant. Thank you, Ace. Um, and uh, he's, of course, the proprietor of the Ace Cosby Joke of the Day, brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. Speaking of Omaha Steaks, uh, yeah. we sent a box to Kostaki Economopoulos, who joins us from Los Angeles, California. He's right next to Pat Godwin on the big screen. But you guys can't really see each other. There you go. You can touch each other. <laughs> How's it going, Kostaki? Those Omaha Steaks were great. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, I got little... them for you for Father's Day, so it's kind of an early Father's Day gift. I uh, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We uh, we were supposed to have the we wanted to have the brothers over. I don't know if you remember last week. You were giving me a hard time because we were having a lame cookout with my brothers-in-law, and uh, I said, "Why don't you send me some of that sponsored meat?" And you did. <laughs> uh, so we were going to invite the brothers, but there's a curfew and one of them was out of town. So we had, a, my wife and I had a little mini sampler uh, cookout last night. We had one hot dog, one hamburger, two small steaks, mashed potatoes, the tart with ice uh, cream. Oh, it yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Great, yeah. uh, now it was I, awesome. I keep recommending this as a great father's day gift because I don't know what used to get your dad for father's day, but no one really wants that rock that says world's best dad. <laughs> or the, you know, one more tie and love enough to make a full-blown noose. <laughs> we did so many ties for my dad. That's all he ever wanted. That's, yeah. Really? That's, oh, well, he wanted them. Okay, yeah. Well, if there he wants go. them, that's yeah. different. Yeah, well, he was once again trying to get that collection together. <laughs> <laughs> so we could finish the scaffold he was building in the basement. And this is true, kick out, actually. Kick out, kick out the stool. <laughs> My dad was a sociology professor, and when he passed away, uh, I brought like a hundred of his ties to the funeral, and everyone who came got one, and some of my buddies still wear them and love them. Oh, that's, that's great. That's, that's very cool. Ended up, that ended cool. up being kind of a cool thing. Yeah. yeah. I actually have, I, I actually, the only thing I have for my dad, I have a watch and a couple of ties. That's that's yep. that's true. So I take it back. You can get your dad a tie. Sure. With a note saying, with a note saying "Hey, when you die, give this one back." Yeah. I picked it out for me. Or you could tie yeah. it around the box <laughs> right. of Omaha steaks. There you go. Yeah. The that, now you're talking. Uh, now you're those, talking. That Omaha steaks box is pretty big. That's it's not, pretty big. It's going to be a long tie. <laughs> Kostaki, it looks like you're angling for some Harry's razors from us now because. <laughs> Uh, it's mm. funny, yeah. Do you guys have a lobster sponsor or anything else? <laughs> I should know about? No, just uh, are you going with a new look? No, I just haven't worked in a while. That's all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, good. I like it. A careless five o'clock shadow kind of thing. Yeah. Have you ever tried yeah. to grow a mustache? I have never done just mustache. I have done beard. My beard is, I've got way more white in my beard than in my hair. So it's a little kind of jarring if when I'm, when I really grow a beard, uh, but I like it once yeah, in a while. Sure. I'd like to see that. Cause I mean, I, I don't know much about your Greek heritage, except I do know that, um, the, uh, Greek Orthodox priests have those ZZ top beards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a lovely Completely. way to, uh, remember. I mean, how would you describe it? Is a it a religious sect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're very, uh, I mean, long obviously it's some weird, long, weird, weird interpretation of something. They said, Hey, we're not supposed to shave. Okay. Who do you think you had the beards first? Those guys or ZZ Top? <laughs> well, I think, I'll give you a minute. Go I, ahead. I think ZZ Top is more top of mind. Uh, if you say, barely. If you say long, long beards, you've got the great ZZ Top. 
Oh, God, a great band. And, of course, one of the world's greatest ironies, Frank Beard of ZZ Top. No beard. No, no beard. beard. Oh, if you yeah. look up irony, that's the example. That <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, of, of course. Yeah, do you, what's the longest you've ever had at Kostaki? Uh, a beard? I, I, it's not been super long. I've, I've had, I maybe have it shaved for a couple of months, a few times, All right. which, you know, for me is it gets to be pretty, it's pretty messy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. yeah. We'd like to see I, it in the meantime. I think it'd look good. Yeah. Um, we've been talking a little bit about social distancing. Uh, oh yeah. And I got, I got a really good uh, letter here. It's very short. Um, this is from Anthony. He writes, I social distance by smoking cigars. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that will work. You don't have to have the eight foot clown shoes uh, in, in this in this day and age. Doesn't the, don't they say that smoke kills it? Did I read that? <laughs> or yes. is it or you is know it what? or is I'm it not dreamt into booze or sex? I, guys... I think booze, sex, and cigarettes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'm sorry. Now, Kostaki, what you're t what you're already talking about today here? Uh, today, country slogans. Country uh, slogans. Yeah, just to clarify, country slogans, I don't mean kiss my grits. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't mean get her done or okay. here's her sign. Right. Uh, uh, these are, we did We did city slogans. Yep. We did state slogans. So uh, here we go with country slogans. So now, again, some of these are great. Norway, powered by nature. Oh. Uh, Belize, Mother Nature's Best Kept Secret. Right, mm. those are great. They are. Now, are these? Uh, uh, this, this is from whatever the, the the tourism boards of these countries. Yes, some of these come and go. Sometimes there's a few for a, a different country. Uh, sometimes there's one that you kind of know of. I wish uh, Belize was something like, um, "Do you believe in life after love?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. We can rewrite these. Absolutely. Okay, all right, yeah. Like we're doing short-form improv? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's good, yeah. Uh, Belize, go. Uh, have you ever been there? I briefly, at a cruise ship stop, have been to Belize, yes. A friend, of, my, a friend of mine moved Jungles. there 25 years ago. I spent Christmas there. And he loves oh. it, lives there, full-time. Or time for a cool Belize? <laughs> What was the first one? Summer Belize. Yeah, Summer Belize. Yeah. Full Belize. What if you live there? What a full Belize. Oh, that's good. <laughs> These are all good. These are very silly. If you live there, it's I'm a Belizer. Yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. We can do this all day. <laughs> that's that is the one. Uh, Costa Rica, no artificial ingredients. Oh. So when you go to Costa Rica, do they check for breast implants? I'm just curious. <laughs> is that really their slogan? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No artificial ingredients. Job. No yeah. artificial ingredients. Sorry, ma'am. Anything over a B, you got to check. It's the law. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Wales, big country. Um, no. Uh, what? <laughs> well, it's not that country. big, first off. It's, it's all relative, I guess. You heard us, Luxembourg. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, visit, live it, visit Scotland. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty plain. Uh, they should go with Scotland above England and not just in latitude. That would be that's a little more. <laughs> oh, yeah. How dare you? They, they've got a rivalry. That's they sure all. do. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And you didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, Ireland. I found a few for Ireland. Uh, one of them, the Island of Memories. Really? In a place that drinks that much? <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember uh, any. the blackouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, their other slogan, I think, is more fitting. Awaken to a different world. Yeah, because when you open your eyes in Ireland, you're like, where the hell? Am I? <laughs> it's true. What happened? Uh, live your myth in Greece. Uh, the myth of financial security. <laughs> uh, it's kind of romantic. Live your myth, but a lot of uh, myths are tragic. Oh, you know? sure. I don't, I don't want to kill my dad. Sleep with my mom. That's no vacation. That's not. That's not what you want. Speak for yourself. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, We're halfway there, Josh. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Croatia, the Mediterranean as it once was. Uh, I don't know if you've been to the Mediterranean, but you don't get the idea that progress has overtaken the place. Uh, <laughs> pretty much what you get in Greece, you've gotten for the last 4,000 years, like mm. rocks, water, feta cheese. That's, that's it. Um, <laughs> There's no place like Hong Kong. Well, if that's true, why does your slogan make me think of Kansas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, pure, natural, unspoiled Iceland. Uh, yeah, uh, it's unspoiled. The whole place is like a refrigerator. 
Of course it's unspoiled. <laughs> sure. Good point. Uh, Germany, affordable hospitality. Uh, is this a country or a motor lodge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very practical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very practical. Australia, a different light. Yeah, it's dark there right now. It's on the other side of the freaking planet. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> very different light. Uh Indonesia, just a smile away. If by smile you mean 15 hour Trans Pacific flight. Yeah. Uh, and that's from LA. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, their slogan should be just three ambient away. Right. Yeah. And finally, uh, if there's heaven on earth, it's here, Kashmir. Somehow, I don't envision heaven being bordered by India, Pakistan, and China. Uh, <laughs> just, just my thoughts. Kashmir is nice, but very delicate. Uh, you can destroy it with a dryer. <laughs> yes, yeah. Here's my suggestion. Cashmere, dry clean only. Yeah. Uh, good night, everybody. Go. Kostaki Economopolis and Excellent. country slogans. Those are great. Yeah. How do you dig those up? Is, uh, uh, it's is, it's is fun. It? The research on these is fun. You can you can look up. You know, there's in this case there are hundreds. Do you hear there, him? What a Greek. The research is fun. <laughs> oh, it's, I, good uh, Lord, man. Google, What's like your it? problem? Now, that's the son of a sociology <laughs> professor. For you. Yeah. Do, do you still have your notes on uh, on on city slogans or state slogans? Do you have a favorite? Uh, I don't have them right in front of me, but I, yeah, there, those are there's so many of them. Um, I like uh, New Mexico, Land of Enchantment. Yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah, that's yeah. a pretty good one, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's some great ones. Yeah, here. some of them are not so great. Mm. No, some How of about them are uh, New Mexico, a lot of desert. How about that? Yeah. Am I right? Am I yeah. right? Oh. Lots of desert. Well, you want to write honest? Surprised. You want to write honest ones? No. <laughs> I mean, well. Then no one would come visit your state. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. What's your slogan? <laughs> Our slogan's corn. <laughs> Buckeye, Ohio, Buckeyes. There. Yeah. No, but there's, there's nothing but a nut. Variety. And this is, this is well, thank you, Kostaki, and enjoy those Omaha steaks. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. Uh, no dates yet on the Kostaki Economopolis touring calendar. No, I just had another gig canceled this week. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's great news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, more yeah, more yeah. research. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know that you're, um, you're hosting your game show, Fantasy Throwback, on your Facebook page. So go to at Funny Kostaki for more information. That's coming uh, up uh, tomorrow night, right, at 9 o'clock yeah, Eastern? Wednesday night's at 9 on there. And then, uh, and then Thursdays, I'm doing a new thing called 50 Toasts. I used to do – I did a thing in New York City called 50 Lunches. It sort of gave me – excuse to like meet with 50 friends over the course of a year i love that. and uh it was you know what i i met with poker players i hadn't really chatted with and uh, some acquaintances and some people i didn't know and some of my best friends i just hadn't seen it was the best thing i did in new york so this is the virtual cyber version and uh all of you mooks are invited if you'd like to come join me so I, I'm, I'm unclear how does this how work, does it work? Do, do you yeah, do it I'm one at a time it's one at a time. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation for about 45 minutes. Uh, it opens with a toast, and then we just talk about whatever, whatever Wait a minute, we want to talk about. But the conversation is with you, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's pretty. Hey. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Chick. Okay. You're. You're invited. Should I put you down for Thursday? <laughs> you know what? Uh, not this Thursday, but I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you, buddy. How many uh -huh. do you do on a Thursday? Do you just do, I do one a one, week? I I do one a week for a year. That's the goal. So See people have to sign to up. Well, yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. have to sign up. You couldn't. I'll schedule you. I can schedule. I can fit you in, Tom. <laughs> okay. Get in um, there, Tommy. Uh, can I write a new slogan for a country? Oh, of course God. you can. Oh, sure. And this is actually true. Oh, God. But um, if you have even the slightest knowledge of uh, history, I think you'll get this. Greenland, we were lying. Yeah? Yeah, yep. they're not green. <laughs> right? Isn't Greenland the Iceland and yep, Iceland that, the yep. Greenland? Yeah. Why did they do that? Because th they wanted people Vikings, to come. Vikings, I think. Vikings uh, or they Greeks. They the full invaders. Could have been invaders. Greeks. Yeah. The Greek invaders. Were there Greek invaders? You call the place oh, Greenland. Well, it sounds good. Sure, I'll go there. You don't call it frozen balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're going to frozen balls? Who would call a country frozen balls? <laughs> Where's, where's some of this? Uh, Tom seas? Griswold here, pre president of tourism for Frozen Balls Greenland. Well, there's, there you? are some places uh, in the great north of both Canada and the United States that have names kind of like that. Somewhat discouraging to go visit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 
most of them are kind of pedestrian is really the complaint, right? It's, right. you know, there's nothing like fill in the blank and it's, you know, a hundred percent, whatever it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, most of them are just boring. Uh, <laughs> but some of them are really colorful and cool. It, it depends. Sarasota better than Xanax. <laughs> <Ben? laughs> is that good? You like that one, Christy? Yeah, okay. I do like that one. Okay. Thanks very much. Sarasota, no Disney world. <laughs> oh, well, oh. okay. Uh, thanks Kostaki. Great Thanks, stuff. Guys. Great See stuff. You, very, very funny. Uh, and he'll be trying some Omaha steaks tonight, mm. if, I, if, I, if I heard properly. When we come back, Christy Lee, what's uh, on the roster over there? Well, we still have those of you who want to walk the Appalachian Trail for twenty grand. We have big Tiger King news, I think. I think it's pretty big. Carol Baskin's involved. And healthy meth? Well, that's what one guy claimed. Uh, I'd like to see how many teeth he has. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, here's the thing: you gotta have your meth every day. <laughs> and, hey, that's a good meth guy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. good. You gotta have your meth every day. Yeah. And, and, and an update on uh, urination. Oh. All right. Okay. When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Everything about the show is at bobandtom.com. Check it out now. State law. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Hey, it might not be too late for you to treat yourself to a Bob and Tom VIP membership. Check out Bob and Tom's VIP premium service, including the live seven-camera video stream of the show. Each and every morning, Jeff Oskey taking care of that for you. Plus, you get the Bob and Tom Show commercial-free on demand with our daily podcast and access to all of the Bob and Tom archives and the album library. Check it out today. Bob and Tom's VIP premium service. It costs a little extra, but it's worth it. From the crazycockwine.com sports desk, I'm Chick McGee, and this is your Bob and Tom sports update. Tiger Woods is speaking out for the first time since George Floyd's death, saying his heart goes out to Floyd, his family, and everyone is hurting. The 44-year-old golfer broke his silence with a statement on his Twitter account last night. He said, I've always had the utmost respect for our law enforcement. They train so diligently to understand how, when, and where to use force. This shocking tragedy clearly crossed that line. And Major League Baseball owners and players appear to be far apart on compensation on a proposal to resume the sport in the virus pandemic. Players favor 114-game regular season and full prorated salaries, leaving each player with approximately 70% of what he had been slated to earn. That proposal was made Sunday, five days after Major League Baseball's plan for an 82-game season with additional pay cuts that would leave each player taking in 23 to 47% of his original pay. And former Auburn football coach Pat Dye has passed away at the age of 80. He took over a troubled program in 1981 and turned it into a Southeastern Conference football power. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Hi, fellas. This is Floyd Tucker, the -the over-the-road trucker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7, of course. Berry whiskey. Berry Berry whiskey. whiskey. You knew Berry, didn't you? No, I can't say I I knew Berry. Yeah, he was the undertaker. You know, he was always saying the wrong thing. Oh, we were out there at the funeral one day, and uh, Berry Whiskey, a frontier undertaker, walked up to... Very old lady. Mm-hmm. Thelma Whiskey. Thelma. They were burying her husband. Oh. Poor Thelma. And uh, Barry Whiskey said, uh, Madam, uh, how old was your husband? She said, uh, well, he was 104 years old. Wow. Four years older than me. 
Wow. Very long life. Barry Whiskey said to her, so you're 100 years old? Wow. Hardly worth going home, is it? (laughs) (laughs) Bob and Tom, 24 7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You just ruined it. Mike Verbigley is our guest. Are you dating anyone? Do you have a... I, I realize what I need to find is a woman who loves me for my money, but doesn't understand math. <laughs> <laughs> I know this girl, and uh, she wasn't too bright. She wasn't, like, book smart. Uh-huh. She was, like, magazine smart. Uh-huh. Or uh, butter label smart. <laughs> I went out this girl, middle of the day, I swear to God, and she goes, you know what turns me on? I go, what? And she said, black guys. <laughs> which, which I really found discouraging because I've been mistaken for a lot of things oh, in my life, uh, but I've never, never. had anyone be like, "You're black, right?" <laughs> no, I'm Olive Garden Italian. <laughs> How is your son? Oh, he's great. How old is your son now? Yeah, he's a little four-year-old. He he actually um, he loves Thomas the Train. Have you ever heard of Thomas no. the Train? Oh, no, sure. So, already... And they have different names, Donald, Toby. And one mm-hmm. day he's got them spread out in the restaurant, and the waitress, waitress comes over. She goes, that's Thomas, the tank engine. Is Thomas your favorite? And Justin goes, no, I like Percy. Percy's one of the trains. Mm-hmm. But, but unfortunately, he can't pronounce his R's yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Imagine my horror. <laughs> the whole restaurant hears my son go, I like Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Daddy does, too. <laughs> the guys who sit behind us do. That's my favorite. That's why you're here. <laughs> you yeah, Joey from Philly? <laughs> <laughs> he likes in the car. <laughs> and Rachel, Sue, where's your old, where's your old lady? <laughs> I was flying from South Bend to here. I was yeah. on a plane this big. It was like a pack of gum with eight people in it. What happened was we took off from the South Bend Airport Hair Care and Tire Center there. <laughs> I don't know if been there. We got halfway here. We had to go back. It's like a 12-minute flight. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had to go back. We had engine trouble. We lost some oil pressure in one of the engines, and they told us about it over the speaker system of the plane, mm-hmm. right, which was stupid because they could have just went, Hey, we lost some oil. They got just a little turn around and yelled at you. The guy sitting next to me is losing his mind. 844 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much. Christy Lee has the weather forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Sunshine, look for a high today of 88. A few clouds around tonight, down to 67. We start out partly cloudy on Wednesday with a chance for afternoon thunderstorms and a high of 87 degrees. Beautiful sunshine, 68 right now. And now Christy Lee's lottery number predictions. Go. Lottery number. How many what? do I get to pick? <laughs> what are you talking? 3, 10, 22, 44, 56, 72. I don't even know what numbers are. I hope you wrote uh, that down, people. Uh, <laughs> what if that one? <laughs> Do they go as high as 72? I don't think 72 is I don't think so. I think the weather weather guy comes out. Oh, Just get you some scratchers. (laughs) Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's great to be here during the semi-quarantine. Hope you're doing okay. We're happy to be here. We got uh, our joke meister, if you will, Ace Cosby. He's sitting over there at the omahasteaks.com. Ace Cosby joke of the day chair brought to you by omahasteaks.com. Remember Father's Day. As Christy says, wrap the Omaha steaks in a tie. Sure, why not? <laughs> you might want to put them in a plastic bag before you do that. Well, you leave them in the box, you knucklehead. You well, just tie the tie around The Omaha it. steaks box is pretty big. I don't think you're going to be able to get one tie around it. Then buy two. Oh, two ties? Yes. Now you're forking out more money on ties than on steaks. <laughs> this is what a um, stupid idea. This is as dumb a thing as I've done. Okay, is well. It, are we really having a conversation about You and I aren't. No, we're no. okay. That's I'm not I'm either. No, I'm sorry. Terrible. I'm glad you laid out on this one. <laughs> That's Josh in the sidekick chair. It's not just any chair. It's the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair. Mr. McGee's at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Uh. You heard that sigh. <sighs> Another troubling day for Chick. <laughs> uh, Christie's in the Navy Federal Credit Union News Room. There's Pat Godwin around the corner. The track phone hotline was just uh, um, um, uh, featured a broadcast. Are you calling from, Pat Boone? Did I say Pat Boone? I think you might have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, the, track See how fo- I did that? the track phone. Whoop, bobble, loop, bop, bob, bam, boom. <laughs> Tootie, fruity. Uh, okay, uh, Pat. I we were talking earlier about. Uh, Josh's, uh, oh yeah, urinary proclivities. Um, apparently, uh, Josh prefers the sink to yeah. the actual toilet. 
That's right. His house. Um, For number one. And I was relieved. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's clarify. Yeah, this is... Because, yeah. No, those are, those are rust stains, baby. <laughs> I think you're going yeah, to need some sort of scoop or something. The, yeah. Um, the other... Uh, but uh, you prefer the sink, apparently, because of its uh, well, the height. What yeah, is perfect it? height. It's uh, cleaner, I think. <laughs> Cleaner. Yes. Well, I, you don't th sit there, so to speak. I, for one, gla I'm glad you said it because I've done that too. And I thought, oh, man, and when you said it, I went, whoa, I'm not that crazy. Yeah. What about the hair situation? Oh no! You know I keep a clean house, so there's no there are no oh all right okay. no stray pubes right. in the sink. I think we did that. That's a little direct. Well, that's what he was asking. I was asking a question. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Josh. Now, Pat, a lot I can't have numbers. That's you, your kind of question. You've got your guitar out. <laughs> yeah, you were going by in the hallway, and I was doing uh, doing a little song for Josh. It's a work in progress. It uh, just kind of came to me, but I, I love the idea. Uh, a little something for Josh. Oh. My girl thinks I'm the missing link. Cause she caught me pissing in the sink I wipe off with a towel to dry If she caught me, she would cry So now I'm staring off in space And when I join the human race Oh, my girl would be oh so sore To find I've been pissing on the floor <laughs> Pissing in the sink <laughs> I've had too much to drink <laughs> My girl says go to sleep now I'm pissing on the sheets. <laughs> so oh it's, it's a work in progress. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it certainly. Comes back to the famous story. The bones are there, I think. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone, anyone recognized the fact that uh, Josh has been quite honest about. Um, too much. Some problems in his <laughs> way, life. Way, way too much. Yeah. And one of your most famous stories involves um, your wetting the bed as an adult with a lady at her place. Yeah. Early 20s, real drunken party, and we hooked up and uh, woke up that morning. I had wet the bed. I just you, had to confess it to her. There was no getting around it. Do you have a dog? Did you consider slipping out before <laughs> she woke up? I and... did. Yeah, a lot of things ran through my mind. I went, you know what? No. Because we worked together, so I knew. Oh, okay. I had to nip it in the bud, and so I I, I, I said, hey, uh, I, wet, I wet your bed. She said, okay, well, you're going to clean my sheets, and then you can leave. So I had to sit I'm there. surprised she wanted you to stick around. Why? I'm not. He's a human being. He's a nice guy. Josh is great. Yeah, yeah, it really wasn't that awkward. I mean, why would it? Wasn't, wasn't that awkward? Paid to bed. Stuff happened. Uh, I guess I mean the Did post she leave while you were doing that? She kind of did her own thing. Actually, oh. I, she may have had to go to work cuz I remember yeah. I remember her putting on her uniform. Okay. While I was just sitting there so hungover waiting well, Let's for get the... back to the uniform. Do you remember taking it off? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't leave anything out. <laughs> it wasn't as... She was on the uh, tech crew of a show at Six Flags, so she wore a black shirt and black jeans. It wasn't oh, so it wasn't anything. Yeah, no, it was a behind-the-scenes time. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. But, um, well, I, uh, Christy, would you have asked Josh to stay? Wouldn't you have been more comfortable if he left? You did your own sheets? I don't know. I don't think I, she wanted to touch him. I don't think she yeah, wanted to be maybe. near him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. She was sleeping. It depends on how much. Yeah, but it was mostly my side. What about the mattress? Was it? Yeah, that was good. I was gonna. I don't ask. remember if she had a mattress cover or not. I don't remember. Well, I doubt it. She doesn't now. <laughs> you don't have a mattress cover on your bed. Uh, you don't at all. You don't? I, I don't know. You mean like a plastic thing? No, no, no not plastic. Like a, yeah, like you know. a nice mattress cover makes it a little cushier. Yeah, you don't have one or protects your mattress so you yeah. don't have these kinds of sweat. Instances. Sweat yes. looks like pee on a mattress. Yeah. How much are you sweating? Uh, as much as I pee. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to court you over know, this? You sound like you're a defendant. You Other... remember we we work with you. We <laughs> suffer from night sweats. We all do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't sweat when you sleep? A little bit. I mean, I... Sure. Well, a little bit looks like a little bit of pee on your mattress. There are other okay. things that can look like, yeah. Uh, well, I imagine. Josh knows what it's like to <laughs> you have a safe wake up, the wake up in a quart of Wesson through. oil. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. The Wesson oil could either be for cooking or for sex. Uh -huh. right. Or both, go. maybe. I, or uh, or Mrs. Pot Mrs. There. Butterworth's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That might be more accurate. You uh, have to have a mattress protector, I would I think. I missed something on the mattress. There's like an extra sheet or something. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Unfortunately, I have not wet the bed for many, many years. Same as, boy, oh boy. I think Ooh. it's been about um, 15, 17 for me. I used to, oh boy, I was a, I was a bed wetter. Really? I was a bed wetter as a kid and then as a college guy. <laughs> <laughs> So in between, you were okay. Just great, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Because of drinking? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I, I wet my brother's couch. It is, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, oh, you're a menace. He, he went to Mizzou in Columbia, Missouri. It's a shame he didn't know Chick then because he, <laughs> he got a new couch about every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I could have easily taken one of your hands. You know, I don't know how this started, but let's stop it. <laughs> did you ever, while you were drinking, get up and maybe go in a drawer? Yep. or? There were times where I... Um, in a drawer? Oh, not I a know drawer, somebody that uh, did that. The corner of my dorm yeah. one time. You and thought you were in the bathroom? Yep. Apparently. And the worst is... Somebody's ear? Oh, <laughs> I, can't Come again? This, I can't believe this is about to get worse than being in the corner of your room. I was staying at my brother and sister-in-law's, <laughs> and my sister-in-law pulled me aside uh, as we were eating breakfast, and she said, Hey, um, <clears throat> your nephew's crib was soaking wet, <laughs> but but he was not. Do you have an explanation for this? <laughs> and you peed on your nephew? Uh, oh, no, he was not wet. We right? don't know. All we know is that he was not, nothing about him was wet, but his crib was. Ooh. Oh. I, and I was sleeping in that room because that's where the guest bed was. Uh. I, I must have. But at least I had the... The, um, the wherewithal not, not to, to hit him. Yeah, him. yeah, not to hit him. Yeah, that's 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 good. That's some good news. So that's the weirdest year I've ever seen. There's a baby here. So was that was that uh, was that was that the event that changed your life? Yes. Yeah. That's where I went. Okay, maybe. Is uh, that your bottom? Maybe binge drinking isn't for me. <laughs> Five or six, I could probably. Yeah. What was your nephew's name? Or is is his Alec? Name? Yeah, Alec. Alec. Yeah. Okay. He may have a memory somewhere in his little brain. I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can see this. You know, 30 years from now, all of a sudden he has this breakthrough with his <laughs> <Yeah>. shirt. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Peter, me well, when I was a baby. I, I was able to drink lemonade for the first time yesterday, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I hope that's not what happened. I hope he got up. Took his diaper down, Pete. Uh, that's no. There's no way that happened. It was no, me. It had no, to. Work. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Boy, what a monster! Uh, You're not a monster. <laughs> into Don't a, do that. Into a drawer. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the who line? peed into a drawer? Uh, someone I used to know. <laughs> okay. was it, so when you oh, opened the drawer, okay. was someone it still? She used to know, but I uh, <laughs> steal a couch. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christy, was I when know you, who it is. When you opened uh... when you opened the drawer, was, was there something in it? It was like, like yeah, the, there's stuff in it. So you had to wash all the stuff in the drawer. Wow. Yeah. So it was a guy. Yes. Okay. I woke yes, up at a party was, one okay. time, and we all kind of went into this one room, and my buddy was laying on the ground with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> all the party. And they uh, they shortly thereafter discovered that the VCR he had been laying in front of was filled with pee. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that could have resulted in a... was not a very good well, movie. Well, GFI. <laughs> yes. I know. Yeah. No. So. What's going through your mind when you do that? You know, I wonder I if don't women know. do this, because this is, seems like a guy thing. Well, I wouldn't a woman know. traditionally be sitting down on something? Well, if you're drunk and you, you know, you could sit down. Yeah, you could sit on the edge of the bed. I don't know. Hmm. But, yeah. You don't hear much about women wedding things. No, yeah, you, you don't. don't. Huh. Well, um, I'm sorry I opened up that uh, yeah. <laughs> can of urine. Um, yeah. So you've never, well, you don't drink, I forgot. Well, I, you used to. I've never, you, no, I haven't you I've never peed had an the incident. bed since I was a little tiny boy. Huh. And I know it's, I, I'm not trying to, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, sure, sure. There yeah. are people who have that issue. It's going to be very tough. I understand that. But wow, yeah. into a VCR. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. We, I, I, I don't know. But I hope yeah. he just finished washing a porn <laughs> <laughs> and, and figured a little more liquid won't kill this thing. <laughs> well, when we come back, I think we actually had something we were supposed to be doing. Um, uh, when we come back, we have uh, robot waiters yep. and more. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Hi, this is Bob. And this is Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Every dollar spent in the Bob and Tom store for the foreseeable future goes directly to Feeding America. Buy now and buy off and head over to BobandTomStore.com and start Feeding America today. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump has threatened to deploy the United States military unless states quickly halt the violent protests that have convulsed cities from coast to coast. Trump said Monday he was recommending governors deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers to dominate the streets. The president says if governors fail to take action, he will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. His statements came as the U.S. braced for another round of violence at a time when the country is already buckling because of the coronavirus outbreak and the depression-level unemployment it has caused. The brother of George Floyd has appealed for peace in the aftermath of riots and arson fires following the death of his brother in Minneapolis. Terrence Floyd appeared at the intersection in South Minneapolis where his brother died after a white police officer pinned his neck with his knee for several minutes a week ago. Wearing a face mask with the image of his brother's face on it, Terrence Floyd spent several minutes of silence at the flowers and other memorials that have sprung up. Quote, I understand you're upset, Terrence said to the crowd through a bullhorn. But he said civil unrest and destruction is not, quote, going to bring my brother back at all. And the artist Christo may be gone, but some of his upcoming public projects will continue to be on display. His website, which announced his death over the weekend, said Christo's next project, the Arc de Triomphe Wrapped, will appear in September in Paris as planned. Also, an exhibition about Christo and Jean-Claude's work is to run from July through October at the Centre Georges Pompidou. And that is your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Cultural observations. What have you got? Well, today's more history. Oh, history. How about that? Oh, All right. Oh, history. Okay. Very Learn us something. Now, we've heard about the uh, Knights of the Round Table. Oh, sure. sure. There was a knight. Who was the most meat-loving knight ever? Mm, I don't know. Sirloin. <laughs> sirloin of beef. Yep. But, um, sirloin popped into my head, but I decided to let him say it. Yes. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Hello, ladies. Uh, this is a song that's called. Well, no, it's not. It's not called Chick. It's a song that, uh, that I'm very familiar with. My life as a ladies' man. Oh, I heard that. Yes, yes, yes. Take off your dress. Tell me something I don't know. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. He can't get enough. Yeah. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's very good. <clears throat> I'd give that I'd give that a right on, brother. Right on. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I've lost you. I don't know what you're trying to say. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. Let's get freaky. I know my way around it. Give me that tag. 
to Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much, mellifluous voice of Ace Cosby. This we, might uh, help. I was going to turn it to Christy Lee, but she appears to have dropped something on the floor and <laughs> uh, is uh, struggling. Are you okay in there, Christy? Oh, she can't hear me. Okay, well, she'll get organized in a matter of moments. In the meantime, uh, if Christy fall off, it would were, were to fall off that chair. Sorry. I was just saying, if you'd fallen off that chair and were injured, do you know what you should do? Reach for uh, a hammer? I'd reach for a hammer. <laughs> No, Ace, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Josh, <laughs> Amber's uh, good for nails, not work injuries. Uh, okay, what else would you do, Christy? Um, I would call someone that says it's easy. Oh, oh, only it were easy. No, no, no. You call Galitko and Daly. Why? Because they're the work injury lawyers. They always have the answer. Galitko and Daly. Where do you find them? Well, you find them at indianaworkers.com because they go to work when you can't. So if you're injured at work, do the right thing. Call Galitko and Daly. Once again, indianaworkers.com. Christy, try try what? touching the uh, the, yellow, right here? the yellow cord. This one? Oh, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, Why'd she oh, ever do that? God. Yeah, because she was late. I'm just making him. a... Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am injured at work. That's why I'm late. Okay, sorry. Uh, Christy and, and uh, Chick, uh, both late. We're, we're back. Um, thank you very much. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Good to be here. Getting a lot of mail in the last just few minutes. I have to get to this. Uh, there's Ace, there's uh, Chick, there's Josh, I'm Tom, that's Christy. Hi. Pat Godwin's just around the corner. Peeing on your friends? Um, Is that what the stories are about? <laughs> that's what the last break was all about. Well, well you know, Peeing sometimes. in VCRs, <laughs> desk drawers, like a bunch of animals. Josh. Oh, like you've never had any incidents? No, like no, that? I have not. Okay. No. Look, I'm not proud of any of them, but they happened. There, there was, was an incident in which Josh... Uh, Woke up with some uh, young lady, and uh, he had to wet the bed. Yes. Uh -huh. After an interpersonal uh, encounter of the most intimate type, apparently. Right. By the way, do you happen to know if you were uh, successful in that uh, in, in that uh, event prior to waking up in the urine? Was it ever... Uh, Are you asking if she wet the bed first? <laughs> in, a, in a way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that, I, I think so, yeah. You think so? <laughs> um, Did you ever go out with her again? No. Did she ever? Was this event ever spoken of again? Yes. Uh, she and I still work together, so we saw each other, and I think we kind of just laughed at. I was going to say, you probably laughed about yeah, it. Yeah, she right? was a nice person. And behind your back, did she have a nickname for him? Oh, probably. Yeah, sure. Why, why wouldn't she? Hey, geyser boy. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly deserved a nickname after that. Um, anyway, uh, and then you told the story of your buddy who apparently uh, he peed into a VCR. Yeah, while he was passed out. Wow. Yeah. I, I, it hap happened to me. It'd be hard to do now. But, but, sure. I mean, maybe a DVD player, but most probably into his phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the digital, yeah, the digital age. Uh, well, we, we've received a lot of mail just in the last couple of minutes about but, this topic. Yeah. Well, I think it happens to a lot of people, and thanks to Josh's honesty. They're talking yes, about you know, it. Yeah, Josh is an American hero. <laughs> You're saying that he, he pissed at a woman's bed. Yes, congrats. Get him a, some sort of an award. Well, oh, check, I appreciate that, man. It. Thank you, yeah. Uh, this guy um, <laughs> writes to us from uh, <laughs> South Carolina. Apparently, uh, you were asking if ladies did this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, his wife um, was uh, sitting in the dryer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh. Well, she sounds adorable. I'm guessing it's a top loader. Yeah. <laughs> she was sitting in the dryer. Sitting on top, sitting on the dryer. Wait obviously. a minute. Wait. You'd have to climb up. Yeah, you would. Like the top Like loader. the holes of the toilet? No, the dryer. She opened the, up the lid to the dryer yeah, and but it's plopped like it's herself up there. It's like it's a toilet and just uh, yeah. went. Dryers aren't top loader, just the washing machine. This one must, well, something must have been here. The dryer yeah. you pull down, because yeah. I have a top loader washer, and then my dryer <laughs> opens up the front. Well, this isn't about you. <laughs> now, is it? Okay. You know what? I could use a new dryer. And, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, Sorry, Greg Christie like, has gotten in the habit of vetting everything. Because there's no such thing as a top loader dryer, is there? I, I, well, apparently she's peeing in one. I, I, I'm going to take the guy's word for it. But maybe she was kind of bent, hunched over. Yeah, and, maybe she yeah, opened the dryer yeah. and then sat Stuck down in there. Yeah. thinking it was the toilet. Here's one from uh, BK. He said, uh, my ex-girlfriend peed in my mom's bed while she was drunk. Then she peed in my bed twice. Had to let her go. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Had the, to cut her loose, he That's said. That's it. Uh, okay. Our very own Jess Hooker writes in saying that uh, when, when she was in college, they had a friend that would get very drunk and pee every time he passed out. To gauge how drunk he was, we would ask him to give us a, quote, no pee guarantee. If he couldn't, 
We would make him sleep on the front porch <laughs> or in the laundry room in the winter because tile floors are easier to clean up. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, this comes to us from John. Who would have thought this would be... A topic. A topic? Oh, man. Dear Bob and Tom Show, eight years ago, totally wasted one night, went to bed... Walked to the closet, removed the vacuum and the cleaning supplies, and peed in the litter box. <laughs> well, you know what? I later found out that my wife and daughter were watching me the whole time. Did oh. it clump? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you think, the, it, uh, you think I, the cats came over and go, Hey, what, hey. What the what, hell? Yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> Chick, you've never uh, peed yourself as an adult. No. Wow. I think my uh, <laughs> my toilet training was uh, so <laughs> severe. <laughs> that, uh, Even possibly, if you wanted to. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. I, it's kind of hard for me to... I still flinch a little every time oh, I go in, no. in the normal facility. Okay. Uh, Ryan uh, writes that uh, dating a girl in college... The first time we were together, we got drunk, hooked up. Uh, she woke me up in the morning, told me to get out of bed. She had peed the bed. Then I discovered she did this every time <gasps> she got drunk. Okay, Ooh. yeah. Okay, but uh, being a guy, I'm sure he said, what the hell? Oh, sure. <laughs> let's go for it. I can wash the sheets. Pat, you're a, a, a um, well, you, you've... Man you've, about town? You've, you've had around. some acquaintances with... Um, <laughs> you've been around with various yeah. women the named sauce? Kim? Yes. The bottle and going to bed? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, one time as an adult, many times as a kid. Okay. Yeah. I grew up a bedwetter as a kid for a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah, same here. I wonder but, if that's a correlation. I wonder if you I, have, are probably, more perceptible. I, for me, probably. Yeah. yeah. What's I don't understand. What are you saying now? If you were a bedwetter as a child, oh, whether okay. when you're drinking you have a more of a chance to be a bedwetter. Does that make sense? Right, right. Hmm. I think for me, for me probably, yeah. But can't speak okay. for everybody. Interesting. Uh, we have a lot more mail on this, but I think it's time to move on. Okay. All right. Uh, we have this one that involves uh, toilet paper and a golden I thought retriever. we were moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not moving on. Well, Did he wash himself on the <laughs> toilet paper or the golden retriever? Right, right. right. I, I don't want to know. I, Does poop stick to your fur? Oh. That, old, uh, that isn't a chocolate lab. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of fur, we have a Tiger King update. We do. Yes, no, wait we a do. Second. you got to warn me about this sort of thing. I just did. Okay. <laughs> tiger King, a Tiger, Tiger King. 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 What do we got, Christy? Tiger King. Tiger King might be over on Netflix, but the story certainly isn't going away. A judge has now granted Carol Baskin control of the zoo that once belonged to Joe Exotic. A federal judge in Oklahoma issued a judgment in a 2016 lawsuit between Baskin's Big Cat Rescue Corp and Shirley Schreibvogel, Joe Exotic's mother. Judge Scott Polk found that the zoo had been fraudulently transferred by Exotic to his mom to avoid paying Baskin's settlement in a trademark infringement lawsuit. He gave the GW Exotic Zoo in Wynwood 120 days to vacate its property and hand over control to Big Cat Rescue Corporation. There you go. I thought it went to that other dude. Well, it's been operated by Jeff Lowe. Okay, Remember but he, that doesn't, guy? he doesn't yeah. own it. Okay. And he told TMZ, quote, we have long anticipated that the judge would eventually undo the 2016 land transfer. Hmm. We are thankful that he dragged out his decision this long and allowed us time to complete the new Tiger King Park in Thackerville, Oklahoma, behind the world's largest casino. Oh, that's right. Yeah. In the, in the thing they were building that. Right. Okay. Joe Exotic currently, of course, serving a 22-year sentence for trying to hire someone to kill Ms. Baskin. Ironically, in a bigger cage than... Or smaller cage, probably, than the, <laughs> than the Tigers. Um, got this letter. Uh, regarding Josh's urinary exploits. <laughs> Love it already. <laughs> I had a friend who purchased a brand new MacBook Pro. Oh. After oh, indulging no. one night, he returned home, went to relieve himself, oh. lifted the lid of his laptop, gave it a direct hit. Yikes. Oh, man. The Apple Store did not accept his warranty claim. Oh. Wow. Yeah, oh, look, Here's one on Twitter. My buddy Pete and his PlayStation. Oh man! <laughs> open, open the CD tray. Yeah, he peed and then closed the CD lid. Unbelievable! Thought he was at the flush in the toilet. <laughs> right. okay. What he said? Yeah, here's a lady who graced a garbage can. Okay. Well, at least she yeah. tried. That's kind of a. But didn't know it until they told her the next morning at breakfast. So well, it's um, important we all know we're not alone. Yes, of course. There you go. Well, so, uh, although we'd like to be, nice you know? drunken peers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Let's yeah. move on here. Um, uh, Christy, give me the teaser, please. Uh, we still have somebody paying you to walk the Appalachian Trail and drink beer. Hmm. Robot waiters. Hmm. Uh, is there such thing as a healthy meth? Well, this guy says there is. And uh, children, three to five, are using smartphones more than you parents know. Hmm. Or they want to. Mm-hmm. Wow. They really want to grab those things. Yeah. Yeah. They they see mommy and daddy using them, and they go, wait a minute, this looks like it's fun. <laughs> I want to do that, too. We'll find out about that coming up. Right now, speaking of uh, phones, think of all the stuff you've pumped into yours. A hacker group called uh, Shiny Hunters claims to have breached 10 companies now selling their user databases in the dark web uh, marketplace for illegal products. The companies range from an online dating app to a food service delivery uh, place. So be careful out there. Online stores and newspapers are part of this. Apparently, 73 million user records are up for sale right now on the dark web. So it's important to understand how cybercrime is affecting your life, and it's happening all the time. That's where LifeLock comes in. They're the leader in identity theft protection. LifeLock detects a wide range of identity threats. For example, your social security number could be for sale right now on the dark web. So check out LifeLock. It's very inexpensive. LifeLock has people that will help you get your identity back in the event that it is stolen. But you want to prevent someone from uh, using your name to maybe borrow a car, borrow money, or uh, cash that check that you were supposed to be getting in the mail. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. LifeLock can see threats you might miss on your own. Join now, by the way, and save 25% off your first year. LifeLock, by the way, is very inexpensive. Save 25% off that inexpensive price by going to LifeLock.com slash Tom25. Once again, that's LifeLock.com slash Tom25 for 25% off the price for your first year. LifeLock.com slash Tom25. You'll sleep better knowing someone's watching all that stuff floating around in the ether that you've been pumping into your phone all these years. LifeLock.com slash Tom25. Coming up, we have Healthy Meth. Well, okay. that's what this guy says. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, hey man, this is Donnie Baker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, Donnie Baker. Mark Allison with you on a Tuesday. It's June 2nd. For everything Bob and Tom, check out BobandTom.com. All the latest highlights, news, information, plus links to all of our social media sites. We know you kids love your social media. Check it out today, BobandTom.com. Don't forget, you can always email us, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. If there's a request of a comedian, a bit, a song, something you'd like to hear that you haven't heard in a while, put it in the subject line request. And what it is you want to hear, we'll see if we can't get it on for you right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The music industry is planning to turn off the music and hold a day to reflect and implement change in response to the death of George Floyd and the killings of other black people. Several top record labels organized Blackout Tuesday as violent protests erupted around the world sparked by Floyd's death, as well as the killings of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor. Music-based companies Live Nation and TikTok, as well as the Recording Academy, posted to social media that it planned to support and stand with the black community. Meanwhile, the guitar company Gibson's holding a benefit concert to support the famed Apollo Theater in Harlem, featuring Cool and the Gang, Gary Clark Jr., Michael McDonald, and Keb Moe. Dionne Warwick and Dougie Fresh will make special appearances. The live virtual event to kick off Black Music Month called Let's Stay Together, a benefit to support the Apollo, was to be today, but because of Blackout Tuesday, they've moved it to Thursday. And yes, there will be speeches from Barack and Michelle Obama and even Beyonce, but there also will be musical performances. YouTube's virtual commencement ceremony called Dear Class of 2020 will take place this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern and will include performances from BTS, Lizzo, Camila Cabello, among others. Also appearances from Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Bill and Melinda Gates, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, Demi Lovato, and more. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I think this is an ascot. Yeah. Oh, then, God. We were talking handkerchiefs. Okay, here's a paisley handkerchief. This is nice. How do you tie these? Scott? I don't know. I'm not Charles Nelson. No, I'm not <laughs> Paul Lind. <laughs> <laughs> can I pull this off, do you think? Is that, is that I, think I think you can. This okay. adds an element of pretentiousness to oh, me. That... You need to go home wearing that. To you look see like, what Kelly a, like says. a pansexual off Broadway <laughs> director. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. 
<laughs> when I was lunching with Edward Albee, <laughs> acting isn't being real. Being yeah. real is acting. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, yes. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24-7. Well, I was flipping through the channels on my TV set last night when I came across some televangel preacher guy. (laughs) (laughs) And he was talking about some prophecies, and I think I heard him say that tomorrow was the end of the world. And so then I went into my kitchen and I reached for the top shelf. And I grabbed the finest wine that I could find Cause there's no need for me to save the finer things for later anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world (laughs) So then I got into my car and drove to Hollywood and Vine And I asked some guy where I could score some blow (laughs) And then I went up to the prettiest hooker I could find And asked if I could do a line of coke off of her hooters (laughs) Well, much to my surprise, she said she didn't have any hooters <laughs> and much to my surprise, I didn't care. Cause there's no need for me to not be getting transvestite hookers. <laughs> Since tomorrow is the end of the world. So have a smoke, shoot some smack, punch a little kid in the face. And while you're at it, steal some old ladies' groceries. Cause there's no need to not be an old lady grocery stealing kid punching smack shooting guy anymore (laughs) since tomorrow is the end of the world (laughs) when i woke up this morning i took a look around (laughs) and of course i saw that everything was fine but i'm still gonna have to thank that televangel preacher guy (laughs) because i had myself a really lovely time All night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Here's one of the fattest things I've ever done. I ate a pie and a coffee. 919 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. She's Christy Lee and she's got the weather forecast. Sure do. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Plenty of sunshine around today. High 88. Few clouds tonight down to 67. Partly cloudy with a chance for afternoon thunderstorms. Some could be severe tomorrow. High 87. We have sunshine and sunny and 72, chick. Hey! <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey. Thank All you very right. much. Uh, after a great weekend, some nice weather. That's good. A good thing. Is, and it's going to get super hot coming up. Yeah, but it's going to be nice again this weekend. Okay, Looks, good. Fingers crossed. Okay. But, yeah. Thank you very much, mm-hmm. Christy Lee. Now, uh, some stuff starting to open up. Some nice, uh, get some nice food at your favorite restaurant, perhaps. Sounds good to me. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. We have a little special treat for you coming up. Uh, you can sing along with this special treat if it works out the way I've got it planned. Oh, boy. Oh, God. There's Ace, there's oh, Chick, no. there's Josh, I'm Tom, that's Pat, and that's Christy Lee over there. Christy, At least he's yes. not saying womaning the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. I got bang trouble. Over there. <laughs> She's got some help with that bang, dude. I got some bang trouble. Yeah, me too. I can barely see. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> That's my yeah. problem. That's my problem. Yeah, also. okay. Uh, we were discussing an unfortunate <laughs> incident in Josh's life. Oh, my in God. In which he uh, took a young lady to bed and... Um, at her place, and then woke up in a pile of uh, or a pool of urine, and it happened. No, to be, no, not a, not a happened pile. To be, happened oh, to be his. Certainly not. A yeah, pile he wouldn't be talking about. No, 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 I'd no, hope. Not. <laughs> that would be. Well, that reminds me. Of no. Uh, <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, we're receiving a lot of email from people who experience this. Well, um, I think it's a, a lot more common than you would uh, imagine. This gentleman from uh, Mr. A in Somerset, Pennsylvania, writes: When I was in college. We hung out with this young lady who would pee in random places when she was drunk. Mm -hmm. Uh By the way, she had to buy me a new chair. Oh, boy. We nicknamed her, in the tradition of Batman, the Piddler. Uh, That's pretty funny. Nice, happy college memory. Uh Uh-huh. Now... Um, let's see. Uh, Just random places, huh? Well, now, uh, uh, Pat, uh, Josh, Josh's story again, you, uh, you, uh, were intoxicated. Yeah. And uh, we're yeah. having a, a so-called one-night stand right. with a co-worker. Yeah. Oh, God. And uh, 
peed the bed. He makes yeah. it sound so yeah, horrible, doesn't he? Yeah, sleep and I wet the bed there. <laughs> yeah, so one night but, stand. You, but you believe that your performance prior to the urinary incident was, in fact... Uh, satisfactory. I, I think, satisfactory. yeah. I do believe so, Exemplary. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, I, well... Now, uh, Pat, He's you say... He's a thorough and generous lover. We Pat, all know you that. Say you have a... Um, uh, a uh, uh, song about this? Sing along, if you will. In St. Louis, where he was born, lived a man we called Josh. Went on a date with a girl from work. They both got pretty sloshed. They did the deed and went to sleep. Woke up soaking wet at 3.15. Josh was drunk. Peed the bed, woke up in yellow, pissed on sheets. <laughs> They're both sleeping on yellow, pissed on sheets. Yellow, pissed on sheets. Yellow, pissed on sheets. Hey! They're both sleeping on yellow, pissed on sheets. Yellow, pissed on sheets. Yellow, pissed on sheets. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a one night stand, it was a number one night stand. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry. Christy Lee is at the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union news desk with something. What's going to on? To get to that one night stand, you drank a lot of what? Beer, no, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, yeah. Well, if you like drinking beer and like hiking, we may have a job for you. Oh, beer hike. A Virginia brewery <laughs> is seeking what they term a chief hiking officer. What a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's the de here are the details. You'd be paid $20,000, Chick, what? to spend five to seven months hiking the Appalachian Trail and drinking beer. The Devil's Backbone Brewing Company, based in Lexington, said it's accepting applications from people who love hiking and beer to take on this unique job. Cool. Kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to worry about Hitting a urinal? No, where no. would be? Yeah, it's the Maybe. world is your urinal. Wow! Can you just walk off the trail and go? I would assume they don't have portalettes every well, half I mean, they mile. Do, in some places, they have them. And <laughs> yeah. Do you have to carry out when you're in the on the Appalachian Trail? Do you have? Don't to, you bury it? I thought you buried. Do you bury it, it or because in some places you have to actually carry it out with you, no matter what it is. I don't know. What What do you mean your your waste? Yes. I know How women have to bury their tampons, otherwise the bears will come. Oh, the bears, no. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. You oh, can't yeah. go hiking with anybody when they're about to start their cycle. The bears, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean, that's just common sense. Right, of course. Yeah. Does that turn a bear on? Is oh, that what you're well, saying? Well, no. you know, the, the odor. I have no blood in the water. Was that boo-boo? So, I'm sorry, when does this gig start, does it say? It doesn't say. Because they'll be hiring a head of rescue pretty soon. Well, that doesn't... Well, I... <laughs> to find, I to would find think it a was... Timmy who wandered <laughs> off the trail <laughs> yeah. after drinking Drunkenly. beer. And they never saw him again. Yeah. That doesn't I'm make sure. any sense that you have to carry out your... Poop? Your waste. Yeah. I'm not sure. In some it's places natural. you have. In some places you have to do right. that. It biodegrades, right? Uh, in some places you have to carry everything out, paper okay. and all. All right. Of course, you keep all yours anyway, though, right? No, it's in a like jar in my garage. He's Howard using it over there. Well, uh -huh. I, I have yeah. been, uh, I'm doing the new Dewey Decimal System. The milk goes in the bottle. The milk. The milk goes in the bottle. The milk goes in the bottle. Okay. I would not be surprised. A uh, police in Colorado have arrested a man who claimed he was making healthy meth. Longmont police officers said they received a tip on Tuesday that included pictures of a meth lab in the detached garage of a home after the suspect, Craig William Rogers, was seen leaving the residence that afternoon and stopped by police. He reportedly admitted to having meth inside a pipe that was in his truck. An affidavit states that the 49-year-old told officers he was, quote, making a healthy meth substance at his home because there were acai berries in it. Oh, acai. acai, yeah. Acai, acai, acai. acai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Acai, A-C-I-A. Yeah, those are the, A -C -A -A. Those, that's the new big health thing. Acai. Yeah. Longmont De Deputy Chief Jeff Satur said a berry-like substance was found inside the lab, but added no amount of meth is safe, whether it has a berry in it or not. <laughs> and yeah. the chief also said... Come on, Craig. Stop it. <laughs> Just go home. He was yeah. arrested on several drug Please, charges, Craig. as you can imagine. They put well, him in there. Okay. Some places that would be fine if the meth is gluten-free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. 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 Now, now with zero calories. <laughs> Tooth-free. And yeah. a few or fewer teeth. Uh, wow. So you can get meth at the farmer's market. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it is homegrown. Uh, uh, or organic meth. Uh, it's uh, yeah. garage to... Farm to garage to pipe. What is the word? Garage to table. Uh, yeah, to, I know. Trap house to uh, yeah. Okay, trap house. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, good. Thank you very much.
There's a restaurant in the Netherlands that are using robot waiters to serve customers during the pandemic. Have would you, you like some water? Did you? I be- said, would you like <laughs> some water? Have you seen these? I have not. Um, <laughs> they are very Jetsons like. Yes, they have the the shapely bodies and oh, oh. really. So it's not I'm like an R two D two kind of thing. It it actually looks kind of got like that, a got that booty. Excuse me, robot. Your your thumb is on my steak. Well, you don't want me to let it fall on the floor again, do you? <laughs> 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 Mr. No. Shaw Song Who? What was the, what, what was the name the fly of the, in my soup? What that was the is name? a good one. The the robot made in the Jetsons was Rosie. Rosie. Oh sure, Rosie yeah. the maid. Yeah. And just that, that, that lost episode where she's having the affair with George Jetson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, the new suck nozzle <laughs> came in, Mr. J. Oh, boy. Can I install it? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> uh, Rosie. Uh, well, they're not, they don't have shapely, do they have heads? Yeah. Well, I think. Is yeah, it? they do. They have shapely bodies. Well, they have, I don't think they have, is that them? Oh, okay. They're, no, that's not them. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't think that's the same one. Let me. Uh, I'm looking for it. I'm. They're they're kind of white with. Um, here, here you go, Josh. Yeah, it, it looks like she's got a kind of a traditional waitress um, outfit on what? and arms and holding two trays. Wouldn't you say that's a traditional? <laughs> yes, yeah. it looks like what you would think. Um, yeah. Where is this? In the Netherlands. Got two eyes. Associated Press. There robot we go. waiters to yeah. the rescue amid viruses. The oh yeah, they definitely do. They have they've yeah, got two eyes and they have the little yeah. That looks they what look I would about, think. Look to be about five feet tall. Mr. Xiao Song Hu first saw robot robotic waiters serving food in China last fall. He wanted them for his restaurant, the Royal Palace, in the Dutch beach, beachside town of Ranese. Hu's daughter Lee said the robots arrived just ahead of the viral outbreak. Once the restaurant reopens to the public, the two white and red robots will greet customers, serve drinks and dishes, as well as return used glasses and crockery. Where, I, I forgot. Where is this again? This is in the Netherlands. Lee Hoon added that the robots will also enforce social distancing. This Lee, story. Back up. So do, they go, do they go Dutch? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this story refers to them as creepy. Yeah. Oh, creepy robot waiters. I think the weird eye, the weird pin-like eyes are... Kind of they, the yeah, light. they could have. Uh, but, yeah, the face. They. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you mean? Four one two three seven gets a break. <laughs> I was here earlier. <laughs> I'm four one I'm two going three a six lot right now. <laughs> I have some, I have seniority. All I'm that a, bitch a, does uh, is smoke. <laughs> my husband left. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's not supposed to smoke. Uh oh. The circuits are exploding. <laughs> <laughs> She's smoking. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I heard she banged the manager in the walk-in freezer. <sighs> Gave him a handy in the cooler. <laughs> Boy, these robots are Whoa. filthy. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly. Doesn't have hands on this figure. <laughs> yeah. Preschoolers may spend more time on smartphones or tablets than their parents realize, and some use apps intended for teens and adults. There's a new study out there that tracked mobile device use among 350 children aged 3 to 5 over nine months and compared their findings with parents' estimates of their use. Well, that's because they love them. They love what the phones? Oh, what? Yeah. of course! Oh, you've been around a four-year-old? They're, no, I they, haven't. They want to get. They want to get what everyone else. They want to see what everyone else is doing on those things. It's you amazing. really learn the meaning of the word intuitive. Yes, when you see someone absolutely start at four years old. Start running that phone, man. There are a lot of uh, you know good apps for kids though. Uh, games. Yeah, I think some yeah. of them are that one for dating for little kids. Oh, Kinder. That's yeah, just, that's that's wrong. That uh, Kinder is tough. That's. That is, uh, uh, <laughs> you go on Facebook and oh look, Wally made pee pee today and a, did it in the carpet. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> raises status for us. Uh, right oh, now, look who had chicken nuggets for lunch. <laughs> what uh, again? Okay, now um, I want to feature something, uh, a little uh, little request here in the Bob and Tom show. Remember, you can always get to us, Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom. Dot com. This is uh, all about the uh, baseball season that we're missing. Dan St. Paul is our guest. <laughs> Love that. Now, we were talking about the fact that you're from San Francisco and you, and you live there with your wife and your son. Yeah. And um, you're a sports fan, and uh, particularly I know you're a baseball fan. Yes. And we, a big Harry Carey fan. Yes. Oh, I love Harry Carey. I, I have to tell you, though, that we have a female announcer at the ballpark in San Francisco. Over you, That's over right. You? That's right. Sherry Davis. Sorry to tell you that. And I went to the game uh, before the strike last year, and it's very strange because she sounds like the phone company lady. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, <laughs> the third baseman is number nine, Matt Williams. Please make a note of it. (laughs) 
<laughs> and then and then if there's a pinch hitter, it's the batter. Number ten, Royce Clayton. Has been changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best. <laughs> Just, I'm, you know, I'm an old school guy. I can't handle this. You like the mail announcers, though. <laughs> <laughs> Big Harry Carey fan. I mm -hmm. love it. You know, I love Harry Carey, and I love, uh, and I, and I just, you know, Harry, of course, did the first baseball game ever played. You guys are aware of that. Sure. Mm. Yeah, he was the only guy around at that time. Sure. Mm -hmm. to, to, to do that game and. Uh, it was it was wonderful. I got an old tape of it, and I listened to it all the time. Hello, fans. This is Harry Carey. Welcome to today's game between the Bethlehem Braves and the Jerusalem Giants. <laughs> kind of a sparse crowd here today, as a plague of locusts has made it tough to get out to the ballpark. <laughs> you can hear the vendors, though. Hey, manna, get your manna. Who wants bread from heaven? It's hot. It's fresh. It just fell. Hot manna here. <laughs> Penance. Penance, our fathers, Hail Marys. Can't get absolution without an act of contrition. Who wants a rosary here? Water. Water. What? Uh-oh. Wine. Who wants wine now? Peter looks into Jesus for the sign. Jesus gives him the sign. Holy cow! Peter denies it. <laughs> he gives it to him again. He denies it again. Once more. That's three times, and Jesus is out to give Peter a sermon on the mound. <laughs> Jesus, of course, the big hero in yesterday's game, came up in the bottom of the ninth with the Braves down three to nothing and hit a bases empty grand slam. Fans, <laughs> we haven't had a miracle like that since we had fishes and loaves night here. <laughs> I had a chance to talk with the Savior after the game, and this is what he had to say. Well, Harry, the ball was on the outside part of the play. I was not trying to make contact. First of all, I want to thank my father for loading the bases. Moses Gracias, señor. And I said the Holy Ghost for bringing up the double play. Back to live action. <laughs> Lazarus up to the plate now. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Lazarus <laughs> up to the plate now. <laughs> Who's the pitch? Oh, no, he's hit. He's hurt. He's down. Holy cow, he's dead. <laughs> but wait a minute. He gets back up. <laughs> That's the sixth time this week. That kid can take one for the team. <laughs> Abraham up to the plate now. Probably up here to sacrifice. <laughs> Enfield drawn in for the Patriarch, and now there's some action in the Bethlehem bullpen. I can't quite make out the back of his rope. It is the big number 10, Moses. Just called up from the burning bush loop. <laughs> Already gaining a reputation for that lightning fast pickoff move, reminding those runners that thou shalt not stay. <laughs> Let's give it over to Steve Stone. Thank you, Harry. Fans, you want to be here this Tuesday night when the Braves meet the Calvary Cubs? It's going to be Nabisco Communion Wafer Day here at the ballpark. <laughs> All fans 33 and under get a free Eucharist signed by the Sabres. <laughs> now, fans, Nabisco Communion Wafers go down smooth. Won't stick to the roof of your mouth like those cheap imitation sacraments. Sure, they cost a little more, but when it comes to your eternal salvation, isn't it worth that extra buck in the collection plate? <laughs> Remember, fans, the next time you go to the rail for that body and blood, ask for the host with the most. Ask for a Nabisco. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Here's some scores now from around the league. A big upset. David won. Goliath nothing. <laughs> Ends a long win streak for the big guy. Oh, no. Job is on the 15-day disabled list with a bad case of leprosy. <laughs> Pulled a hamstring. Pulled it right off. <laughs> the angels have sent Lucifer down. That's a shame. When that fellow was in his prime, he could throw some heat. <laughs> <laughs> this year, his earned run average has ballooned to a hefty six, six, six. <laughs> and here's a partial score. Sodom and Gomorrah still tied at 69. <laughs> Dan St. Paul and the classic by request first baseball game. Now, let's uh, talk about something you don't want to talk about. Erectile dysfunction. Uh, <clears throat> very awkward. You don't want to talk to your doctor about it even. Well, here's a uh, simple solution to that. Our friends at Roman... 
R-O-M-A-N, Roman, have spent uh, years developing a digital platform so you can actually connect to a licensed doctor in your state, uh, all done with the Internet. You can do it in your phone, do it in your computer. Roman makes it convenient to get the treatment you need right from home. Again, now, the way it works is you um, grab your phone or computer and complete a free online visit at GetRoman.com slash Wood. You'll hear back from a U.S. licensed physician within 24 hours. And if that doctor decides the treatment's right for you, well, then your medication will be shipped to you. In fact, uh, it's a free two-day shipping. Wow. Wow. So you can, um, then you can also, by the way, get unlimited uh, follow-ups with the doctor anytime if you have questions about how to adjust the treatment plan. They'll try to find a treatment that is suitable for you, and if they do, once again, it's going to be uh, that free two-day shipping. So with Roman, there are no commitments, and you can cancel anytime. It's R-O-M-A-N. You get there by going to GetRoman.com slash Wood. So if you're struggling with ED, stay home. And you can take care of it all at home. GetRoman.com slash Wood for that free online visit, free two-day shipping. Get part of your life back. That's GetRoman.com slash Wood. Free online visit with a physician and free two-day shipping. Thank you very much. When we come back, we're going to learn a little something oh. about uh, the world of history. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's yeah. much more exciting than you think. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob. Hi, Chick McGee here at the, uh, the Old Compound. And uh, they want me to tell you about BobandTom.com, where you can join and be a Bob and Tom VIP and all the swell stuff that you get to be a part of because you're a VIP. What kind of stuff? All sorts of things. Like what? There are club meetings and there are decoder rings and all and secret handshakes. And also go to BobandTomStore.com where you can get Bob and Tom hats and sweatshirts, t-shirts, and shorts, socks. We have socks. I'm not sure about the socks. But uh, yeah, BobandTomStore.com for Bob and Tom stuff. And then BobandTom.com to join the VIP. The VIP also get uh, the Off the Air podcast. Come on by and visit, okay? BobandTom.com, BobandTomStore.com. Hi, Chick McGee here at the uh, the old comp. It never leaves me when I'm down on my luck. It doesn't shop at fancy stores or have a lawyer or want a divorce. No, it doesn't care if I stay out late. It doesn't bitch about the money I make. We'll be together till the end. It won't sleep with my best friend. I'm gonna get down on one knee and ask my truck if it'll marry me. 
I'll never drive another car. Real honeymoon at the t- <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life. The exhaust pipe's tighter than my ex wife. You think I'm crazy, but listen to this. I can bring home a hooker and it won't get pissed no. off. The wedding ring won't cost me a buck when I get married to my pickup truck. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know about you, but I have certain, like, uh, milestones in an earthquake to set my panic level, basically. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, uh, it's shaking, no big deal. I can handle shaking. I'm not worried until I hear a car alarm. Then the car alarm went off, I'm like, no big deal. Car alarm goes off. I'm not worried until I start hearing things falling and breaking. Mm-hmm. Things are falling and breaking. I'm like, you know what? I'm okay. As long as power goes out, people are screaming. I'm like, okay, I think this is it. I think this is my moment to panic, everybody. And right at the moment, I thought my heart was going to explode. It stopped. And I was like, you know, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. But that night, it was shaking so bad, the furniture moved over, blocked by doorway. I couldn't get out. Uh-huh. And the books were falling off the shelf and hitting me. Oh, yeah. And it was a lot of fun. But even given that, I still enjoy them. And oh, actually, yeah, there's nothing like them. In fact, I, the uh, song, 26 Miles Across the Sea, you know that thing? Mm-hmm. was written about Hawaii. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, earthquakes have moved it so far away. It's sad. I, I, I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. Oh, well, that woke chick up. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Safe sex. That is a considerate lover. It is better than wearing a helmet, I'll tell you that. James P. Conley is our guest. And you run out into the street like that. Oh, yes. Re- uh, residents of a small Austrian community are campaigning to rename their city the equivalent of Stinksville. Carl Verasmo, 51, who moved to Lichtenworth several years ago from Vienna, wants it renamed Lichtenworth Stinkendorf. <laughs> sure he does. I'm not making this up. You know what? I'm for it. He says local pig farmers have polluted the air, uh-huh. so he started collecting signatures for a petition to rename the town, trying to get the people to realize that... I like a city that lets you know what it's all about. The town stinks. Mm-hmm. I'll get that. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Yeah, good morning. Hello. Hey, is this hello. Carl? Hi, hello. Carl. Hey, Carl. And Hi. 945 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Good to be here. Christy Lee's got the weather forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by Car X. Sunshine, high 88. Clouds overnight, few of them. 67 will be the low. And then a partly cloudy day on th- uh, Wednesday. I was a day ahead. Afternoon thunderstorms possible. Look for a high of 87. We have sunshine. It's gorgeous out there. 72 degrees. What did she say? Maybe far, a, maybe far, a, she said far out. Few what? clouds. Few, oh, okay. Uh, you were check come. out your favorite restaurants and support them if you can, either with uh, to-go food. Some of them are opening up. Uh, some of them have outdoor stuff, so you can support all those great people. Now that a lot of them are getting back to work, don't forget. you can. Eat, but most of them have what's going on online, so you don't have to mm-hmm. call them up or whatever. You can figure it all out by going on your phone or your computer. Uh, check it out and help out a bunch of people working hard again. And that'll be nice. Get some great food. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we have uh, Christy Lee in the next room. It's the Na- Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Thank you, Christy. You're welcome. Chick McGee's right across the way at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. <laughs> the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair is occupied by Josh Arnold. Hello there. That's not just any... That's not just any chair over there. That's uh, the omahasteaks.com Ace Cosby Joke of the Day chair brought to you by omahasteaks.com. Remember, for Father's Day, if you don't get your dad's steaks and you get him a tie, look out for the reading of the will. Oh. <laughs> this is the home of the track phone hotline. We're happy to be here. Uh, but uh, right now, we're going to switch gears and uh, do a little history, Christy. Yeah, I have a couple. Time now for today in history. Thank you, Leonard. You're on. Tongue numb? What's going on over there? He's... <laughs> uh, on this date in 1953. <laughs> no, we're not up to Oh, you're going to start earlier? Yeah. What do you got? Today in history, you're starting with 53. What do you have? What do you got? 12, 19? What do you, what do yeah, you have? 1835. Have... Magna Carta. Uh-huh. A little trip. Who began the uh, first tour of the United States with a circus? Pete Townsend. Barnum and Bailey. You said who? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you are tired. Yes, I am. Uh, P.T. Barnum, of course. Oh, there you go. Um, Didn't he have famously have a horse in a stall, backed in the wrong way, and said he had a horse 
with the hat on the wrong end. Didn't he do that? I don't remember that. He, well, he's uh, the, the quote, a sucker is born every minute. Right. Um, apparently not him. I think it was, um, I think it was uh, Leo Hirschfield, the guy that invented the uh, Tootsie Pop. I think he said that. What? Uh, what are you talking about? A sucker about? is born every minute. As he's sitting what? at the soccer factory. <laughs> he, soccer factory, Josh. <laughs> yeah. He went, that's a, that, <laughs> what? Uh, now, he also, now there's the, the, the blow pop. Right. Of course, that was invented by uh, Soon Yi Previn. Uh, I think. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Certainly uh, knows something. Uh, too Soon Yi. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mackenzie Phillips, maybe? Would that be better? Oh. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, uh, we'll read. Every you'll get discover. These are all good jokes. <laughs> 1875, Alexander Graham Bell made the first sound transmission. Hello. Would have mm. been really weird if somebody had answered. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, that would have been horrifying, yeah. Be, that'd be a great scene, like a Twilight Zone. <laughs> yes. Well, I've invented it. Let's try it out. He lets it ring, and there's this, hello, <laughs> ahoy. Did you know he also invented the graham cracker? <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell invented mm. the graham cracker. I have no idea. This, I'm hoping this is a setup. And the bell pepper. That's okay. exactly right. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's, the, that's the joke after and that setup? And Abraham Lincoln. And okay. the Grandy Alexander. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. That's that's three when strikes. He and Watson, You're out. Uh, you know, best friends. I don't know. Right. Uh, okay. 1933, Christy Lee. Yeah. FDR authorizes the first swimming pool to be built in the White House. So uh, uh, it was okay. a wading pool, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More of a, I'm sure. I'm sure he's mostly in the shallow end. <laughs> that is just that's just mean or wrong. At a ramp, is that what you're saying? I'll be at rust-proof oh, wheels. Yeah. How tall am I? You when are I'm sitting whole, down. God, I, that's two more years in hell. Just then, right there. <laughs> Mine was a nice one. Okay. The only thing we have to fear <laughs> is, is the, deep the ladder out of the pool. <laughs> it's the so deep you're end you're pool. double downing on it. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm going to hell. 1953, this coronation. We're, we're not at we're not at 53 yet. We're still at 35. Babe Ruth <laughs> retires. Did you know that his body lay in state for two days at Yankee Stadium? A hundred thousand fans came. <laughs> She's Christy's right. got a point. <laughs> You know, yeah. well, you know what, what happened, Christy. Was, isn't what it, what it is now. No, no, Christy, it was well preserved. Well, it was. It was hot, and <laughs> yeah. you're actually yeah. correct because for the first time ever on day three, fans at Yankee Stadium were shouting, "Babe Ruth stinks." Oh, I oh, bet. I've never said that before. <laughs> Man, that's a long way to go. Isn't it? <laughs> but she started it. <laughs> I apologize. Um, it was on this date, and oh, you got what do you have now? Fifty three. Well, mine. I don't have a joke for it. It's just nice. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth II took place. Or oh, <laughs> we'll find a go. joke. Sword. We'll find a joke. So, we don't need so one. Josh, we don't Josh need doesn't you. have a joke either. Do you have any? Do you have any witty polio stuff you want to throw out there? Can you imagine if the any, Queen uh, were walking somebody just yelled out, <laughs> "Or <laughs> wait a minute, isn't that the same Queen? Right? Uh, huh? Yeah. What?" The queen now is the queen then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was yeah. her coronation. Right. Wake up. <laughs> so, didn't you just watch that whole thing? Or <laughs> Yeah, you watched The Crown, okay, didn't you? Is, I'm a British citizen as far as I'm concerned. Uh, how about how about birthdays? Okay. 1731, Martha Washington. Pass. What do you mean pass? <laughs> or, <laughs> okay, that's old already. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it was funny. Yeah, she liked horse teeth, right? Okay. Oh. Uh, Josh, for you. splinters in her? Oh, okay. 1740, Marquis de Sade. Oh, yeah. No, boy, oh, boy. For me? Why? Why, Josh? <laughs> you know, you're a well-known... I mean, I'm a perv, you're, but you're a well-known... You're a well-known sadist. You know? yeah. didn't, yeah. didn't you bring up sadomasochism just yesterday yeah. on the show? T okay. Today, actually, yeah. Oh, the great God. Charlie Watts, drummer for the Stones, born mm -hmm. in this date in 1941. Still at it. 79. They wouldn't let him in the Who because they were concerned about Abbott and Costello stuff. Oh, sure. Who? What? Watts, Watts on drums. Who? 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Pete Townsend's on guitar. <laughs> Guess who? No, that's Canada. <laughs> Chick will know this one. Dennis Haysbert. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. The all star gentleman, uh, uh, all state all, gentleman. State, uh, well, he sure. wasn't all state in high school. He was the president. <laughs> yeah. on, uh, he was the yeah. president on twenty four. I think. Yeah. First. Yes. Very, and he was um, yeah. and in Joe major Boo. league. Joe yeah. Boo, yeah. The great Dana Carvey. He hate curveball. A thousand points of life. That's right. Um, Dana Carvey. Not gonna die. 
Uh, okay. Isn't and that uh, special? let's see. Uh, lastly, oh, uh, <laughs> Fabrizio Moretti, the drummer for the Strokes. Love the Strokes. Oh, I thought it was uh, the uh, spray. Uh, yeah, no, he, oh, he, oh, his family. <laughs> they're, they're, they invented yeah. the sprayable fabric. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Time now for things we learned on the Bob and Tom Show, brought to you by Granger. Products keep your facility running is what Granger does best. They've been doing it for 90 years. Visit Granger.com for whatever you need, whenever you need it. Granger for the ones who get it done. Chick's still upset about the fact that we have no toner in the printers in the building. Well, it's only been a week and a half. It's not oh, the only okay. one. We'll try to get him by tomorrow. I bet you it's not fixed by tomorrow. Eleanor, I'm to rolling towards the deep. <laughs> <laughs> rolling in the deep. <laughs> his arms worked, you know. He was, he was able to use his arms to swim. <laughs> Hello. I hope they have a ramp in hell because time. part of your punishment's going to be just peeing in your chair. Time. Time. Uh, is time? Ten okay. seconds. Oh, and Christy dropped her necklace down the sink, and yeah. she thinks her boyfriend got well, it. Uh, well, he better have, is okay. all I know. Okay. Oh. I, we have, you want to take home my hair snake? It's over there. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guests, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Bob and Tom 24-7. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I say all this to introduce the How About You tribute. Oh. How About You, of course, is Chick's new catchphrase that he periodically forgets. Okay, Please here we go. Push the button. How about you? How about you? How about, how about you? you? Bum, bum, bum. Chick McGee is here to say, how about you? Bum, bum, bum. How about you? How about you? How about you? Bum, bum, bum. How about you? Hello there. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Thanks to our friends Kostaki Economopoulos and comedian Bert Kreischer for stopping by today via Zoom, staying socially distanced here at the Bob and Tom World. Coming up on Wednesday's Bob and Tom Show, scheduled to appear, our resident geek Jessica Alsman, our comedian slash relationship expert Allie Breen from New York City. We'll see how Allie's doing there in the heartland of the New York City world. And comedian Dave Dyer will check in with Dave and see how things are going up in Michigan via Zoom. All on Wednesday's Bob and Tom Show. Ace Cosby up next. You guys have a great afternoon. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning with another edition of the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening. Music lovers, do you still like music? Well, you're.